Lenky, of course, from Whitehall, St. Thomas. Oh, as you said, as I said, Whitehall, I didn't remember to big up our peeps in the different parishes. So guess what? After the break, though, I will be sharing those loud ups. I'll be loading up all of y'all out there in the different parishes across Jamaica. All right. So good to have you all on board. Our WhatsApp peeps are checking in. Our Facebook Live peeps, we know you're coming in as well. And our very own peeps who are listening via the airwaves tonight, we know you're here with us. So after the break, we give you a whole lot more on Real Talk. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. It's now 9.30. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 Nine three two two six six. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp five one eight two three nine nine to advertise your business and events. Call, text, or WhatsApp us on five one eight two three nine nine five one eight two three nine nine. Don't forget. 518-2399. Get your wheels, Port Antonia have a huge clearance sale. March 24 to 31, one week only. All you spots, cheap, cheap. Don't miss it. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm Mr. Reggae Ambassador. Hey. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. right here in Styles FM 961, 965, 967 for the Tony Larvan Show in style on style. We're gonna eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Really rich now. The other Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk tonight. It's Lady Cleo and DJ Prestige filling in for Daddy Road. Uh, I'm seeing where Richie from Brampton, Canada is locked in and he just started listening. I'm not sure if he's just started tonight as a first night or he just signed on to the show for tonight. But whichever, whichever way it is, uh, Richie, we want to welcome you to the show. And of course, if you're a Jamaican, this makes you feel like it's a yard. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. So Lady Sean in Heart Hill as well locked in. Good night to you, my sister. My sister. Aisha. Good to see you, Andy. <coughs> of course, bless up yourself and bless up to the Real Talk family, he says. To you and the crew, Andy. Oh, I fans of styles. Big ups, big ups, big ups. So to all our friends who are farther afield, over there in St. Anne, we want to loud you up and love you up tonight and give you that warm, bonanunas Jamaican kind of welcome to Real Talk. And our friends in St. Mary, how they do to you too, our neighboring parish. Welcome aboard, welcome aboard. Our friends in St. Thomas, family and everybody in St. Thomas, I know you have your 
sports your yeah, community sports coming up in um is it april or so yes gary i hope i got the date right the, the month right i'm hoping to be there so all the family and friends up there in whitehall st thomas big ups big ups big ups and our very own portlanders right here at yard we want to load you up tonight and we want to say thank you for being on board and for tuning into stars fm and big up yourself for supporting your very own right your very own styles fm all right so this person says i was born in and raised in kingston but have roots in saint thomas peter mackenzie all right peter good to have you on board peter long time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes prestige mm -hmm. so your week has been like what for you tell me tell um, us um it was a easy week it's an easy week yeah yeah you know, stay home most of the time and mm, relax, did what? And watch eat food. TV as usual. Um, and eat, cook and eat meat and food and, and all these things. Cook and just eat and lie down and sleep. You know what I mean? Oh. You know, sometimes yeah, I wonder if I have a life. Man. Sometimes I wonder if I have a life. That sounds like a life to me. Wait, we alone does the woman just cook and eat and just lie down and sleep? And watch TV? Yeah. Yeah. No, if I had that opportunity, wonder. I would do that. Wonder, me, no, so <laughs> ah, me, I work all the time. Some, like, I feel like I don't buy myself sometimes. Like, when I feel lonely. When like, I like smile, I feel like so, I rub my foot and all this. I rub my back. So, and, where is she? You know? Where eh? is she? Where is she? And that may I say? <laughs> that yeah. may I say? Yeah. <laughs> you need to get somebody in the house with you, man. All right. Yeah. You need to get her in the house with you. She needs to be mm. there with you to rub your feet and you rub her back her foot. Them answer too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, man. You are so right. Yeah, you know? you're about back. You know, you know, a massager all to, over. Listen to my voice. I'm so lonely. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so lonely. You look yeah. all right. You look well <laughs> round and rosy. Like you might like get chips and jar and all these things. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at those cheeks. Hey, yeah. They're rosy. Thank you very much. And that smile. Yeah. Like she had a rubbish shine head. Well, look at my smile, God. We up on my head. We up. Are you? <laughs> I tell you, I'm a blush, uh, man. Say that again. Portland yeah. is the best parish in Jamaica. All right, Aisha. Yes. Uh, is it Aisha? All right. I forgot the name. Aisha. Yes, it sure is. So for yeah. me, okay. oh boy, prestige this week has been, I tell you, but my weeks them always have some little bit of excitement and too much excitement. Um, we had the PEP examination, the performance task. That's, of course, for the um, grade six students. Mm -hmm. Across the island, it was a national yeah. exam. So we had <coughs> Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday yeah. was language arts. Thursday was math. Mm -hmm. And whether fortunately or unfortunately, um, the grade six teachers had to be the ones to administer mm -hmm. the examination to the students. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we had to confi confine ourselves to certain um, rules and regulation and criteria that we, we should not do X and we should not do Y mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I had no problem with that. Um, but based on what the kids have said, oh my goodness, they and, and I guess this and this is a sentiment I've ex, I've heard across um, from other schools across the parish, yeah. and by extension, I'm sure there are people across Jamaica, mm -hmm. kids across Jamaica who would say the same thing. The language arts was quite manageable, they said, but for the mathematics parts three and four, mm -hmm. they had a whale of a time knowing exactly what to do. I guess under the exam condi conditions, the pressure, the nerves, the jitters, everything that yeah. comes with that. And there are kids who don't really function well under pressure. pressure. And they know they have an hour to get something done. The, the brain, <laughs> all that they've been taught seem to go through the window, through the door, wherever it went. They, they lost focus and <laughs> yeah. everything. So they have said it was disastrous. Whoa. The mathematics, especially mm -hmm. the last two parts to it. So let's see when the results come, mm -hmm. what it is that they need to go back to the drawing board with and how they can best assess it again to help the children. Um, let's hope for the very best. Yeah. And to all the kids who did the exam, parents, um, all the very best to the kids. And um, I think the kids did their best, but I think the mathematics was outside the box yeah a little outside the box that's my view all right so that that for me uh made my week not so happy because mm -hmm. you heard you know various comments miss i don't know what to do miss we never know what to do 
Miss me couldn't do this. Miss me couldn't do that. And I've spoken to other persons, like I said, across the parish. And it's the same thing that the children are saying. So. But you look well rested. Looks are deceiving, honey. Yeah? Yeah. No, man, you look, me can't tell. You know? No, sir. You look well rested. Looks deceiving, me not yeah. lie. You don't look stressed out. <laughs> I don't look stressed no. out. Well, thank God for not looking stressed yeah. out. And I like your style. But I did it. Yes, I did it. Serious? Yes. I got it Cain, C- Corn Road, yeah. we call it Cain Road, yes, by my stylist assistant. Mm-hmm. And then I went home and I put them in myself with the crochet needle. So, yeah. Yes, so, for those who might need their hair crocheted yeah. with plaits and stuff, mm. Lady Cleo can look get it nice. done for you. Look nice, look nice. Oh, thank you, honey. Yeah. And look there nice. are various, various stars you can wear yeah. it in. You can't take yeah. them out anytime I wash them. Yes. It. This is, it, this is a two-year-old hair, by the way. What? I traveled two years ago with... Yes, Cassidy. Like Cassidy, Cassidy looks Cassidy this way, look too. <laughs> it's the, the, the plaits are two yeah. years old. Cassidy look on for safe and gray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last time I wore this was yeah. a, I went away two years ago. Yeah. I was in Manhattan, and I had them in. Oh. So you I... Yeah, a foreign. You go foreign. foreign. Oh, yeah. yeah. And okay. um, I came back. I put them down. I couldn't find them. And then I remember I had them, so I got them... Sorted out. I mm. washed them myself nicely. Your yeah, man, warm oh, yeah, water. You couldn't find them. We live in a mansion. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> in my mind, in my mind, I found them. Yes. I sought them out. You see, yeah. and I just let them dry properly. Yeah, man. And I just here they Look are. Nice. Yeah. You Look never really know nice. if I didn't tell you. Yeah. Yes. They so. can't go an extend year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if they're not rotten, dry rotten. No, they won't. They won't. Oh. They won't. Okay. Best buy. Trust me. This is a oh. good buy. Yeah. It's a good one. And it's light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 African Empress coming yeah. out in me right now. <clears throat> All right. So, our peeps again on social media pages. Anybody on? Oh, I have people on the Facebook Live Connection. Let me see them. Let me see them. Let me see them. Win some. Hey, God, Mama. How you doing? Good night to you. Enough love to you too, my darling. Good to have you. And all the Pear Tree Rock crew, pick up yourselves. All right, so we have the Facebook Live peeps up. I wanna, I wanna shout them out quick, quick, quick. Um, not just yet. All right, so as we go through, guys, we're gonna load you up, all right, and let you know that we appreciate you all so very much. All right, um, we have our box pop for tonight. Yep. Um, Prestige. Mm-hmm. And um, I decided to. I, I didn't deliberately leave the phone, but another phone. The other phone is um, left at home, so I don't have my. I don't have my Vox Pop on my phone like I normally do, but I do have it on screen. So, tonight our Vox Pop is a very, very interesting and um, touchy one for most, for a lot of women. And a lot of men will say, oh, I said for go. But you know, women will think differently. All right, here goes for tonight. Um, Cassidy, what's wrong with me? Mm-hmm. All right, so here goes. For centuries, there's the notion that it's a man's world. While in recent decades, it seems like girls run the world. Do you believe that gender bias still exists? Give your experience, if any. Do you believe that gender bias still exists? Give your experience, if any. Biblically, men are deemed to be superior to women. Would you accept this and abide accordingly? Explain. Think about from kids level or from kids age to adulthood. Who do you think has more privileges or who had more privileges to get by even nowadays in society? So from your child to now you're an adult. Who do you think has the most privileges? Or who do you think has the most privilege as it relates to how they get by in society? Is it the man who has the most pri- who has more privilege or is it the woman who has more privilege? And of course, my view is that we have seen in some regards some amount of switch in some aspects to the latter part of it. But let's go back to the very top. For centuries, the notion is that it's a man's world. 
in recent decades it seems like girls run the world do you believe that there is a gender bias do you think gender bias still exists and i say 100 percent yes there is a gender bias that still exists and it plagues our society and by extension the world i think it is um uh, affecting well the world glo it's global it's affecting the caribbean it's affecting very country that we live in jamaica um you know that when it comes down to gender bias we're not only referring to know where it is that women are marginalized or where men are marginalized but or should I say, it's not just about women. It's about either sexes. Mm -hmm. So you, you look at how it is that the, the women are treated as it relates to the workplace, as it relates to payment for jobs that they do, as it relates to how much they're allowed to participate in economic, for example, economic um, decisions or parliamentary decisions, for example. Um, and you, know, you look at men and how seriously men are taken as it relates to some domestic um, violence, for example. Mm -hmm. For example, a man should come to the station to report that he's being beaten. No, not beaten. He's being raped by or, a Or, yeah, if I, even that. If yeah. a man were to come to complain that he yeah. been uh, he's been, has been raped. Yeah. Or that his girlfriend is yeah. abusing him physically. She yes, yeah. Beat him behind. Yes, yeah. yeah. If that were to happen, mm -hmm. how would they respond to him mm -hmm. as opposed to a female coming to say, he beats on me every day, every night. Yeah. Or I was raped. Mm -hmm. Would it be the same reaction, the time reaction? Would it be the same for the man as opposed to the woman? No. So it's gender biases as it relates to both sexes, both sides. I think it's more prevalent among women. Mm -hmm. But not to say men are excluded from any biases that exist. It depends on what, you know? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it okay for a man to be raped... And it not it not it's not viewed as a case of rape. Can a man be raped, for example? People will argue, oh no, he cannot be raped. Oh yes, he can be. <clears throat> but it is something wrong if a man were to complain that he was raped by a woman as opposed to when a woman complained that she was raped by a man. Mm -hmm. Why is it why is it, why is there a difference in the reaction? Yeah, because um when you look panic on a level and you go in front of the police see that it's still shot. Right? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Explain. Yeah, what because so funny about it. Because you know, I, um, I spoke about this before with Angel, DG Angel. You get me? Mm -hmm. You know. You see, when you when, when when a case like this or an incident like this happen as a man, and you go inside the police station and you mm. report it to the police. First of all, the police are gonna look for you and say to you, know, say big man, what's the matter with the man? <laughs> eh? Hold on. Yeah. So you tell me if you're a police officer and the man came in to say. Yeah. He was raped. Yeah. You're going to ask what happened to him, man? Yeah. Why would you ask him that? Would uh, you ask the lady what happened to your man? Listen, this is something we me experienced before. You get <laughs> Being me? Being raped? Not me, not me, not oh, me. Oh, okay. Yeah. That would have been interesting to hear. Individual that I know. Okay, right? yes. Him, yeah. If I find something, go home. And him lie down and I take a rest. And him not in to where she up to. Right? Mm -hmm. But both of them not upon good terms. Mm-hmm. So he said before, he even put in hand on her, right? Yes. In leave out. And then go down to the station. And then go report it. Because <laughs> she, she, right? As how him they talk to her, right? You know why she go down to the station and go, go report it before him. So he come out and then go down there and go explain to the police officer and I tell the police officer. Police officer, tell me myself to go to the station. Oh, my they get goodness. He goes, start out and he start out. And then he goes, give the woman what the woman want. Oh. So he was in favor of... Yeah him giving yeah. her some sorting out yeah but that wasn't for, that wasn't his call to me the man won't lie down the man won't rest oh she come home and I molest the man you get me <laughs> and me say well molest you know, you know, you know that. <laughs> yeah okay you know so the man go go report it 
a lot of women, women are going to say, ah, some little soft man, them, man. Where them, man, you know, man tired. Just like if you, if you go home and you're tired. <laughs> and I mean, he were to attack you yes. then. Yes. And you ask me, you know, you know, just leave me alone, get some rest, man. You know, say, I go down on the station, go report you. Boom, she go down on the station, boom, them come for him, boom, them handcuff him, boom, and them lock him up. And he went up, no, go so. I went not, no, go so. the way she put it. Yeah. It is accepted. And then come accepted. lock him up. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, pan a level eh? Okay, yeah. all right. Well, we, we're gonna quickly go to some because some of the messages are coming in. Yeah, flushy. Fast. Yeah. Um, Kevin in Tampa, Florida said, Prestige, <clears throat> if a man reported to a woman officer, <clears throat> it makes a difference. Yeah, okay, interesting to know. That's in the States, Kevin, or what? Are you speaking about right here? A yard, I, I don't know if, if, you, I don't if, know if it makes a difference to a, a no female difference of Jamaica, <laughs> not in Jamaica. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. If the girl is ugly, yeah. it's rape, but if the girl is pretty. It's uh, A plus for the man. Look here now. It's who this? <laughs> it's, oh, it's Peter Mackenzie, you know. I'm Peter, man. I'm <laughs> Peter, man. <laughs> uh, Peter, you're something else, I tell you. Oh, my goodness. Um, Good G Money. Oh, G Money from Duck and Speed St. Thomas. Good to see you locked in as well. All right. Mm -hmm. So we are on the Vox Pop. Um, do you think gender bias exists and i honestly think it does mm. i don't I, I can't pinpoint an experience readily no maybe it will come back to me if i had one it mm. might come back to me sometime before the show ends but i can't pinpoint having a personal experience with gender a, a gender bias situation no doubt it would even happen i never mm. even realized what it about happened in the workplace um yeah. no my work Workplace mm -hmm. is predominantly females, oh. so I, I can't say I've seen yeah. it. But but it happens a lot in the workplace. I, you know? I think so. I yeah. think so. And as you said that, you know? um, I I was doing some reading and found that the Carib one one of the issues that plague plaguing the Caribbean and Jamaica is high up on the list of that mm -hmm. is what they call um, bias as it relates to pay the mm -hmm. gap there's a gap, gap between yeah. the yeah. pay yeah. that women as get as opposed to men mm -hmm. it is said that they that women earn 60 percent of the male salary yeah so for mm -hmm. every hundred dollars that a man gets mm -hmm. a woman will get sixty dollars mm -hmm. right um and of course jamaica ranks 65 in the global gender gap report for 2015. Mm -hmm. that's just about three four years mm -hmm. ago all right, and it's, a, it's, one, it's said to be one of the worst in the Caribbean. So when it comes on to, and we're talking about generally now. Yes. Um, the average woman gets less pay, pay than the man gets. And there is this um, system in place now where Jamaica, it's said that Jamaica is the first English-speaking Caribbean country mm -hmm. to take that on, take on the project or be a part of the program where we're trying to work for equality gender equality as it relates to the workforce mm -hmm. and you a woman gets the same pay that a man gets for the same job that mm -hmm. they do yeah so if say for instance she's I'm driving a mason. The, yeah if you're a mason on a construction she, yeah. site yeah. and she's there equally doing the same job mm -hmm. tasks yeah. and everything she in she's expected to get, yes to get the same yes to get the very same pay and, and it's been considered <laughs> A criminal offense if it is that she is not so that's where we're heading and I, I think it's a good move because if you have a woman who can do a job as effectively or even more so mm -hmm. than a man I don't see why she should be paid less mm -hmm. for the very same job once it is being done competently enough I think it is only fair that, it, that she gets mm -hmm. the pay that he gets. Some men out there might say, boy, it's uh, it, it not right for women mm. feel like them equal to us and we're superior mm. to them. Yeah, beca so, because them can't mix matter. But women can, can can't they? Yeah. Haven't you ever seen a woman on a construction site? Yeah. I might can't mix the matter properly yeah. at, at this point. But they can lift two buckets. But I can exactly, and I can throw the yeah. matter in the, in the block. 
black. Where they put yeah. it? The, the check into the the gap, the the pockets are the 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 what? The block. When you set it, when you set the block. The oh, you want to sit CMP like me? You don't know where to put them. No, no. No, remember I said that I am I am an amateur. No, we know. I'm an amateur. No, but if I were to learn this trade, yes. Oh, mark you if yeah. I can do it as effectively yeah. as you are better. Yeah. I deserve it. <laughs> but providing that, no, I cannot do it. I'll just stay yes. quiet for the moment. Yes. But where you put the mat and in the socket of the, of the, of the block that were empty? In that thing there. Eh? In, in that the hole. Thing, in that hole. <laughs> no, yes, in that the block. Yes, like yes. Telling, in that the block. In that the block. When on the construction site, when yeah. they lay the block them. Yeah, in that block, man. You know, push down some, something, yeah. you know, some cement, something, you, something. You got to over to Cassie, they don't forget answer. <laughs> no, 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 cement, Cassie, they don't raw cement. I mean, the mortar, where you mix up with the cement and water. And, 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 you want equal and sand player. and gravel and something. And you a want sand? equal play. A, <laughs> eh? Go for YouTube, man. Go find out, man. Eh? No, say go. Go for YouTube. And then you use a render the wall too. Render the wall. Put it on so oh, it yes, it yes. You mean like with what? You mean like with what? Yeah. What do you mean with what? With sponge? Um, then you want 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 board something where you hold yes. your hands on float. you. And you go so zoom, zoom, zoom. You know what they call it? Yeah. And you rub it down. Yes. And then when it's done, you put must a wet sponge and splash on splash on some water upon it. Yes. And smooth it off. So it's smooth up. Yes. And so you go. Yes. Oh, yeah. equal PMS. Equal. <laughs> <laughs> where you that? Where you that smooth your mud? No man, which mud man? Oh. Oh. Mud come from star. <laughs> Not this. What kind of mud you talking about? You only use yo. mud when you go to the massage shop too. Oh. Probably can use some mud, some and special yeah. mud too. Yeah. So soak into and something. Yeah. Oh, okay. But on the mud, this thing is With cement. Cement. And yeah. And, and then you and can. And and sand and, and it all is steel and so in place. Yes, yes. And when you put, put, do the columns, then the column of it's strong. Yes. Enough to have you know, the column them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have an idea what yeah, goes man. on in this world yeah, man. Yeah, man. of masonry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, Curry Roper. Hey, hey, good to have you on board as well I'm from Canada. Angeline Gray, good night to you too. Two of our Facebook live peeps hooking us up there. All right, so mm. the government of Jamaica is... Um, trying to do what is called a launch. Mm-hmm. Um, they're continuing to work with the launch of the UNDP, which is the United Nations Development Program, and they're trying to work um, to eradicate the gender Gen- inequalities yeah. that mm-hmm. exist. Mm-hmm. All right, and there's what is called a gender equality seal certification program. So they are, it's 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 aimed at addressing the gaps in the workplace that people have. Yeah, um, because. But, me wait with, with that because me feel say <clears throat> if the young lady can do the work effectively just like the the, the, the male right mm-hmm. the female can do the work effectively just like the male yeah. right y'all entitled to get you know equal pay I think so yeah definitely definitely when I see when we go up on the construction work right and I um, are working at well, well, if you are working in our office now, and it depends again too, if we are working in our office, right? Mm-hmm. And your qualification, it have to go with qualification too. All of that too. You get me I come from? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if you have a whole heap degree and all them things, and you sit down in the office, make your angle the computer better than you, you know. Mm-hmm. Right? When I have no form of degree, you just have your paperwork, right? But when it comes to the practical part, me good pan it, right? Mm-hmm. And then look away there. Oh, you don't look pan that now because you have your degree. I mean, you good with the practical. And you have your degree. You can just your paperwork you have and you just know if you do, but you cannot do the practical. <laughs> How that go? <laughs> so you see, that now again speaks to um, how it is that mm. you, well, how it is that the companies pay. Mm-hmm. Is it by, and many people are now going by qualification as opposed yes. to yeah. um, per se, but some places, some people have skill along mm-hmm. with, with, with their qualification yes. and not just paperwork mm-hmm. to say, oh, I have a, a, a degree in yeah, this in, or a yeah. certificate in that or a master's in this. <coughs> not just the academic, academic part mm-hmm. of it, but there are persons who are skill oriented. While there are others who, as I just said, know the skill, mm-hmm. they can't manage the, 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 pra- not the practical, the theoretical the the- part yeah. of it. But then for certification purposes, it, it has to go hand in hand. Because if you really can't manage the reading, written part of it, mm-hmm. it's difficult for a person to really employ you mm-hmm. with just the practical part alone. Mm-hmm. So it's like the both of them go hand in hand. So this gender, this equal inequality thing is, is really sticky, sticky because you do have some men 
and they might not they are in a particular field which they might not be versatile in theoretically but give them something to make there are some people who are like that some men who are like mm -hmm. that and they will make it and make it perfectly too and you might find that they might be taking home from those that skilled those skilled area they might be taking home even more money than a, than, than a person who went to school for three years and is probably teaching or a female for example or so mm -hmm. so it, it 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 varies yes it varies um there are some programs that locally they have de developed uh, one of them is the national policy for gender inequality mm -hmm. and the national strategic action plan and it, that's aimed again at eliminating gender-based violence um in our society we know that there are cases where, or predominantly we hear of cases where women are the vic end up being the victims. Mm -hmm. um, very few or hardly ever you hear of a case where the man is the one who is preyed on or the man is the one who the woman um, abuses. At the workplace. All the time. Even, even domestic. Even home. Dom at home, right. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, mm -hmm. but predominantly women are the ones who are victims and the praise to domestic violence or violence in our society overall right so mm. these companies are aimed are geared at trying to eliminate that but the thing about it you know you know the thing about it women <clears throat> we more go and report you know than the male you know the male, we just take it in. It, 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 is it how our society views it that yeah. if a man is being beaten by his girlfriend, he must self so it, and he just, he just keep it within but, himself because he not really want to go out there for making anybody know saying girlfriend, I beat him and him look away. But it's that smart thinking something. on a man's part. You know? If a man is being beaten, he ought to report that he's being beaten or do That's something what I'm about saying. it in That's terms what I'm of saying. But getting want, out of the situation. Yeah, but you want to be that macho person within, in, in surrounded with him friend them and them look away. There but then they already know about. he's being beaten. You know, yeah? Why are you hiding again? Some of them. Not oh all. My. Not all. But now a, a woman never really sit down and get beaten. Just like that, and she's not report. I tell her friend, that, but yeah, some she women tell to, her friend who, but yeah, some but of them are not reporting them, it. Yeah. I'm not reporting it. Yes, yes she can take a beating true. left, right, and center, a and true. nothing. We hold that thought for a moment. <clears throat> it's now 10:01. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. We we'll soon come back. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 89 322266 Good day driver. You know to start your parking in a no parking zone. You know so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula's Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and defense, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. <laughs> Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. 
Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital tip. Our brain. Look, man. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to explore your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. Thanks to all our friends who are tuning in and locking in right locking in right now. Good to have you. Our Facebook peeps again, Katie and Crosley. We see you. Um, Mios, Miosotis, that's the name. Mm -hmm. Bonaf, <sighs> Bonafia, <laughs> yeah, Bonafasia. <laughs> Join <laughs> in. Taraj. Taraj Richardson, bless up yourself, sister and brother. Good night to you too. Good topic. Thank you so much. The family from St. Martin. All right. Good to have you yeah. from the Caribbean there. And Nash Nashley Eto. Yeah, Nashi. Nashi. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Nashi Eto, was, of course, as yeah. well, locked in. All right, so we are on the issue of gender bias, and if we think that gender bias is real, is it mm. man who, women who run the world, or it's a man's world? Which is it? What do you think? Harris, we see you on board as well. Stacey Kadian Crosley locked in. Carlene Aiken, Kiki Kariabu. All right, we see you. We see you. We see you. Good to have you. All right, so gender bias. And of course, for those who might be wondering what is gender bias, gender bias is that um, preference really towards one particular gender or sex. So if everything or most things are skewed to suit the man, mm -hmm. or is it skewed to suit the, the woman? woman? And I think as it relates, really some things you have gender bias stronger mm -hmm. showing up for the males And there are other things you have, gender bias, showing up even more for the females. Mm -hmm. We're going to look in a few at, at some things that contributed mm -hmm. to the gender bias. It says to the next part, biblically, men are deemed to be superior to women. I'm going to know, I'm going to know if I would want Kevin, brother Kevin, preacher Kevin, to find um, for us and, and share because he might very well say, oh, yes, it might be true where men are deemed superior. Would you accept this and abide accordingly? I don't know if you're going to call me a rebel right now, but for me to accept that superior means above, you know, and mm -hmm. better than, mm -hmm. higher quality than. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I am using the wrong definition now for superior. Mm -hmm. But that's where my headspace is for superior. And to say a man is superior to me, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, that, that's, that's dwelling in a wrong kind of way with me. That's just my personal view. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know if there are women out there who agree with me. While it is that I understand that a man wants to feel or wants to be respected as the, the one who is, quote-unquote, in control. Mm -hmm. Not in control of me, mm. but in control of, say, his family in the sense of how it's directed or guided, how it's protected, yeah, in all of that. I understand that a man needs to feel that he has the power mm -hmm. to lead and to guide. 
Sad to say, some men misconstrue the whole thing and feel say it's about running the woman's head. And for me, it's not that. Don't look at me like that, Presti. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so go back, go back a minute there. So, um, superior to me, no. The average man is physically stronger than the average woman. Yeah. But of course, with every average situation, there are exceptions to the rule. So you do have some women who will, if she hold up on a man, him can't get away. Some men. Mm. And no matter how him ring and twist and carry on, him can't move. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So there are exceptions. But on average, the average man is physically stronger than a woman. Mm-hmm. And so needless to say, we can generally say a man is stronger than a woman. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, being physically stronger than me doesn't mean that your brain functions better than mine. Mm-hmm. And then there are some men who are really smart. Yeah. And have good sense of judgment. Mm-hmm and knowledgeable mm-hmm. about certain things mm-hmm. and street smart mm-hmm. and vice versa yeah. no, you no, have no, some no, men no, no, no. who are yeah. just dumbbells too uh-huh. who don't have no sense of judgment they don't have no sense of reasoning and all of that yes and on true. the flip side too you have yeah. women who are really really smart and witty and when you when you analyze how a woman takes um, a certain amount of money yeah. and work miracle with it yeah. like my mother you have to uh, wonder yeah and then you have some of those other women too who just giddy and I just said, take your money and just pen it off. The not the house, the ch- children are not fed properly, that kind of thing. So you have on both sides of the yeah. equation yeah. people who, the different sexes who just don't have no head. Yeah. <laughs> no head. Right? So to say that men are superior to women. Yeah. Why I cannot accept that one? Yeah, you're not cannot accept that all. So no, men have more head more than women. <clears throat> they have two heads. Yeah, <laughs> but doesn't mean that their heads function better than my one head. Yeah. Some men, the two heads put together don't make one. Yeah, and some men only think of think with is with the lower head. Yeah. Some, yeah, some, some men. I said say, some men. Yeah, yeah, some men. So you do have some men, other men who are really just smart and sensible men. Yes. And they're not easily led away and easily carried away. Like Lewis. Like Lewis. Yeah. All right. So I don't accept that. I think a man should be respected. Yes. And equally so, he ought to respect his woman. Most definitely. And a man should be free to express himself and to state his position mm-hmm. and to, to make certain um, rules, yes. At the same time, consult with your partner. Yes. What's your take on, I, I have thought of this. And because you're in a union with the person now, mm-hmm. you're going to consult her and say, honey, this is where I'm looking and this is the situation I'm looking at and these are the solutions I'll come up with. What's your take? Because sometimes two heads, I mean a male and female head, that is, is better than one. So what about if, if the female don't have any understanding to where you deal with it? I don't have a reasonability that well, you and I can reason well, from that Well, if that's level. the case, yeah. you just have to proceed on your own <clears throat> to make the best decision for both of you possible. And then it creates a problem. No, but if she because really, if she not have problem, no head, yes, it's okay. If she problem. not have the head, if you analyze what you're saying mm-hmm. and look and reason and mm-hmm. look at even the greater good, yes. the greater bigger picture as opposed mm-hmm. to the immediate outcome or the immediate effect. So when we go there and make the money now, because me sure so we can make money this way, you know, and we go there and make the money. That's mm-hmm. all she I go for the money, cause the money coming, everything good. I head good, right? Yes, so. <laughs> No, well, because I like, said, like I said, no. if it is that she's not able yeah, yeah. to give an input, yeah. a meaningful input, yes. and it's someone you really, really want to be with, despite right. all of that, by right. all means, go ahead. Right. But just know, say, yes. when it comes to certain things, mm-hmm. this lady can't give me no, yeah. no it, solid nothing on it. Yes. So you just have to work with what you have. Yes. But if it is that you have a lady who, as somebody said, the lady pretty, you can always rape, her, rape mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. If it is that you have a lady who her headspace is good, right? You can come to her with a, with a business idea and she can add to it and make it better, improve on it. If you have that to work with, then you're, 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 you're great, you're good. Yes. 
But if you don't have that, you have to know what you have is A, B, C. C yeah. And just have to work with the ABC if you mm -hmm. choose to work with the ABC. Yes, so me go out and work with the ABC. Mm -hmm. Right? Which is the no head one? Eh? Or the good head one? The no the head no one. The eh no head one. All right. Eh yeah, and me work with it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you know, I sat here before. Um, 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 I mean, last week? Something last week. All right, bypass that. What may I say right now? A minute ago, me earlier talk, I said to you, say, Money is power, right? Yes. Money is power. <clears throat> me sit down now with the no head one. And I said to her, I said, listen now. <laughs> the no head one. Listen up. You know, so I have this um, project where I want to work with. Mm -hmm. Right? And you see this project? We can um, generate a certain amount of uh, income, income yes. from this project, right? But we have to go deal with this first. You know what I say? And... I don't need XYZ that's from you to deal with this and the way there. You know, it one said to me, say, No, sir, I'm not going to my bank account go to have no money out there and mm, give you. Know, give you and, and do this, you know. But I say, Good night, Mr. Jackson. But I said to you, said to her, say, Listen up. You're going to benefit from it, you know, and I am going to benefit from it. Mm -hmm. You know? When the project got you, because it's a sure shot. So, she, are you sure she's a no header or she's a, she's a brainer? Because. Maybe she's thinking that when we don't take up my money to the bank and invest with you, you yeah. won't gamble your business left me. So, so wait now. She not, she not do that. Okay. Me go ahead, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And deal with it. And it come true. And it come true and me come home now. Right? All of a sudden, fear head good. <laughs> so she start to think straight now. She start to think straight. Oh, boy. Mm. Well... Different things propel different females, I must say. Different things propel different females. Mm -hmm. Because that might just propel one to say, okay, oh, that's what he was saying now. Um, mm -hmm. I'm on board now. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, another one will say from the get-go, I see the idea. I think it's lucrative. I think it's productive or it's, yeah. it can be prosperous. Yeah. I'm coming in with you. Another person might say, I trust you, so I'll work it. Another person might say, I'm afraid to trust him because I don't know what will happen. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the individual. That's true. And you know as mm -hmm. the male, mm -hmm. the choice you decide mm -hmm. to make. Um, back to the biblical thing about women being superior, men being superior yeah, yeah. to women. Um, I think one of the problems that we have developed or that, that has developed and has caused men in our society today, those who think this, is because from medi well, from long time ago... Your quote from in the Bible now, not you? Not, not really quote, but from long ago, mm -hmm. in, before you and I were born, Yes, the, the woman's job was an unpaid one. Yes, stay home and Yes, so they stayed work. home and yeah. they would nurse the babies mm -hmm. While we and go they out. would cook mm -hmm. and clean and, and, and mm -hmm. wash the clothes. Yes. So I think that this quote-unquote superiority mm -hmm. thing that a lot of men hold up and live by, mm -hmm. it's not the one from in the Bible where mm -hmm. the man is supposed to be the head of his household. Yeah. I think some of them misconstrue it so much and say the woman's place has always been and is still still is in the home. And as such, men used to go out and do all this hard labor and hard work, and they used to be paid accordingly. Mm -hmm. So when let's hold that thought. We have a caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Hi, Hi good night. Yes, how are you? Hi, Prestige. I'm good. Yeah, good night. Um, good night. Just for clarification, um, is your name Claudette? Pardon me? Is your name Claudette? No, it's not Claudette, it's Claudine. Claudine? Yes. I think I heard you somewhere else. Anyway, <laughs> just for clarification, um, to the main topic, you see? Yes. It's which is gender bias for, um, for if you remember, men is superior, honestly. And women is only superior in one thing because it was only a woman can carry a child. So but hold on, hold on. Men is superior. Why is that? Yeah, from, from the beginning. Why is that? Tell us why you say that. 
if you know it's from the big without there's no queen can there cannot be a queen without a king. It has to first be a king. Uh-huh. I remember from the beginning we have King Jesus. Uh-huh. Which has no queen. Okay. So you would say biblically King Jesus stand predominate with kind of Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Yes. So the king the, the king is there. Adam was the first king. Yes. Then from then the women came. Would you agree? Yes, based on what the Bible tells me, um, from the rib of Adam, well, a woman was created. So it must be that the man was superior that you can extract from him. So, to, to so you're saying the man is superior because Adam was born, was created first? Yeah. And the man is superior because um, there was, there's a king... Without, yeah. without a king, there can't be a queen. So wouldn't you yeah, agree yeah, too yeah. then that without a queen, there can't be a king? Who brought of forth course, that king? You have King Jesus. Who, who is the queen? Who gave Jesus. birth to the king, sir? Who gave you, who gave you that king? Eh? Eh? Who gave birth to that king? <laughs> you know what I said? Who, who is, <laughs> well, you remember you have King Adam, you know? Yeah. Right? <laughs> where, 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 where you give birth to the queen? That, that, that it would be Eve. Oh. So you're saying the male gives birth to the woman? Yeah. So you see, from the beginning, it was men. So men would be have to be superior from you to get the extraction to farm women. So if it is that without a man's sperm, a baby cannot be born, and without a woman's egg, a baby cannot be born, who then is superior to who? Or why is there even any superiority? Well, well you see, because... You have to look at who what were created first. It first. isn't about who was created yeah. first, sir. I think if you need the two things to operate to bring forth a creation, if you need an egg and sperm to bring forth a child, how can you tell me that a woman is inferior to a man? So where they do this um, insemination of whether it be animal or a person, when they took the sperm, do you know that that does that yeah. way? But well, whether it's insemination, yeah. artificially or otherwise, naturally, sir, the point is you need egg and you need sperm, no? When the insemination, is it egg they use, really? I don't, I, I'm not yeah, sure. If, if, an, if, if, if a person <laughs> cannot naturally, um, if, or if two animals, for example, can't, if two animals can't go together and mate and bring forth a child, yes, they take the sperm and they will inseminate it so that it fuses with an egg from a fee from the female. So well, that female at sixty year old, I think they have the children. Did she was still lay eggs? <laughs> did she huh? what? Did, did you hear about this female that was sixty year old that was still that produced child? Um, do, was she still having eggs? Well, sir, from what I know about <laughs> biology, she would have, have to have she would have to have had eggs, or they got eggs and sperm put together and infused whatever inside of her for her to have that child. But some some egg and sperm would have had to come together, sir. Well, I don't think there was any immaculate conception in our time. Well, I mean, let's let's get some more details on it further. All right, sir. Um, as to the ra as to raping of a man and woman, again, he has to be inserted something for rape. So a man can be raped. Oh, okay, because sir. Thank you. <laughs> because it, because that would be uh, like as if it was too co part cover then. Okay. Position. It have to have something <laughs> firm. <laughs> Definitely. Pray, prestige, say something about that, man. You know, <laughs> so, wait, so, so what you say? <laughs> me, me, me can't get raped. Um, by a woman. <laughs> no, man, without, without something insert, mm. it cannot be raped. Yeah. I don't think a woman don't really have anything to rape unless she concocted a something, like a toy. Yeah. You know, if you, if you, if you, if you really do that to the man. I don't think most women would want to do that. So, they either we would write a philosophy after a man if you come and say rape. Yeah. Okay, sir, so I hear you. I, I think more men want to be raped than any other thing. <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, now it's kind of about All right, yeah, so right. <laughs> he says he thinks most men want to be raped. I know I don't know about that one, but if he says so, <laughs> what am I to dispute that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, um, two, two, six, eight. <laughs> two six eight says Lady Cleo it is not necessarily superior to. It is more he is the head of the household, the provider and protector. As you rightly said, some man have it twisted. And it may, it may, if I may say so myself, most of them have it twisted. They can't lead themselves, let alone. He can't lead himself, let alone his woman, Rain. All right, thank you so much for the comment, for the input there. Um, mm. Cassidy, we go <laughs> back to what other persons <laughs> are saying on the WhatsApp connection. Remember, the local number to call us, if you wish to call, is 876-453-1444. And if you're overseas and wish to call in, that number is 954-338-7973. Prestige and Lady Cleo on the show tonight for Real Talk. All right? Um, 484 says, I protect my husband. And he protects me. End of story. Well said, my lady. Well <laughs> said. Lisa says, not my money. No way. Okay, then Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, I rebel, you know. <laughs> Lisa is definitely a rebel. Hey. So, I call your best we, name, you, he is, you understand what you call a talk about, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> um, back to this <laughs> biblical thing. And he pointed out that, yeah. you know, the, the, the Adam and Eve story. Yes. Mm -hmm. And... Like I said, I maybe my perspective is not the right one, but that's what I view. Yeah. That's where my view is at. Um, as we were saying about biblical times and how women were perceived, um, women being perceived as the helpers, and some of them did not get the opportunity to become employed, mm -hmm. and some of the jobs that they did get, so you had underemployment and unemployment, that mm -hmm. were issues um, plaguing women in times gone by. And what you find is that some of these women, even if they did get certain jobs, they got some of those jobs which were, um, say, less demanding in terms of physical um, ability mm -hmm. or skill. So as a result, their payment from way back would have been less as well you had some of the jobs too where um it is but, said but you have to remember too it's not only um women alone working in that field to get under pay as we say you we have me and i work in the same department too yeah it has gotten yeah to a point over and the I get years the same, yeah where i get the same thing like where the woman i get yes yes things have with, with time yes things have changed yeah. but in terms of the historical perspective yeah. on it. Okay. Um, some of those women who, when they did get some mm -hmm. jobs, yes. the jobs weren't up to the standard, mm -hmm. quote unquote, yes. that the men were working at. Mm -hmm. So that gap between the pay for, for the sexes mm -hmm. have been that way for a number of years coming mm -hmm. on the line. It is also believed, sad to say, that because of the nature of some women, so some women are cantankerous. They might want leaf. They might want special, um, special preferences as it relates to childbearing years, so they're going to have to get some special leaf and whatever. Some of these different things, these other variables, contributed to that position of them being yeah. paid at a lower rate yeah. than the average man. Yeah. And, 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 and them look on it too, like back in the days, <clears throat> then you usually look on it and say, well, some job, the woman then don't have the ability, right? To do those jobs. Like say, for instance, you never used to have any woman that drive truck back in the days, be a days, trucker. Yes. You get me, I say, cause them always look on it and live and say, them work at a rough woman, rough, man. Yes. And them look away the man. You see me, I come from? Because and things change because nowadays we're not driving JUT. So that's the reason why, yeah. So that's the reason why, you know. And buses in the States. The work where them usually do at the time, right? But don't wish you wash your woman now, born again. No. Strong women um, right. who are strong emotionally, strong yeah. even physically. Right. And they are showing that 
they have what it takes to do the jobs that men have men do and now we are crying out now and i say women are get more women paid are, out yeah, and right women are now. coming into yes. our, their it, field yeah, yeah. and i think it's a matter of selfishness on yeah. the men's part yeah. if a woman can manage to mm. function you should not feel inferior to her because she can do the job as good as you are or because she's your manager but, you should be appreciative of the fact that a woman who it is said that she is the weaker sex Mm. You should be happy that a woman is able to do what you can do. I don't know why men should be feeling down and feeling threatened because a woman can do his job just as well. It's full-time men step up to the plate, the ones that are not up there. Mm -hmm. Step up to the plate and realize that, listen, my man, I am a man and I'm going to stand forth as such and show this woman or the women that despite them trying to match up as they put it mm. <clears throat> or be as equal to us with certain job opportunities we still have an edge over them the men are not showing us that these days some of them want the women to mind them they leave the not children no on the no, 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 no. no they leave the there. women the children with the women the women with the children mm -hmm. they don't help to nurture Mm -hmm. these children and monitor and guide them and teach them certain values and principles mm -hmm. it's all left up to some of the mothers to the mothers most of the time mm -hmm. some men stop worrying about yeah. who getting more pay than you or if she is or isn't and start looking at the meat of the matter what it is that will make me stand out as a man beside a woman we got to a break. It's 10.30. <laughs> the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And the Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Don't move that muscle. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how. Every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the illest present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour. Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. Night, you just gotta tune in. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. 
native audio stage and lighting, now offering stage, lighting and distress systems for your small and medium sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're talking about gender bias and, of course, biblically it is believed or it is said or deemed that men are superior to women, where it stands with us. Um, Ephesians 5, verse 23, someone sent us from the English standard version of the Bible. Um, For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. But you see, um, Christ, the husband is the head of the wife, of his, of his wife, mm -hmm. of the wife, even so a comparison is being made even as christ is, the head, is the, the head of the church and christ is the head of the body mm -hmm. and is himself its savior so in the same way christ is doing all of this mm -hmm. the man is supposed to be the head of his wife um the head of the body of the family i mm -hmm. believe and he's supposed to be the savior of them all. Mm -hmm. And savior, protector, guider, one who nurtures and cares for, protects them under his wings. How many, and I'm not saying no man has done this. Please don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. No men have done this. <clears throat> How many men see the role that they have as the ultimate responsibility in its entirety how many men see it and say okay i'm not only the head of the house and i should not only try to run my wife ed and control what my wife do and everything that she say have to come through me first and she not have a voice it's only when i speak i and i speak she can speak after me and just mm. agree with what i say how many men fully understand what their role is. It is not to control the woman. There are some men who if a woman has a different view from him, he takes offense to it because I guess the woman should not oppose. And I don't think if I have a dif I'm a different person from you, I'll have a different view from you. There comes a point when I won't agree with you. What do I do? I don't share my 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 opinion. You don't think somebody. And at the point, hold on. At the point when you don't agree with me, no, you can mm. freely say, "We well, are talking about foolishness." Me not agree with that. Mm. Nothing can go so. Mm. You can freely express your opinion of my statement or my view on something, but I can't share my view of on something that you have said. No, sir. That sound like inequality right there, sir, to me. Mm. And not it has nothing to do with um no level of equality. Because we are humans, we're going to have a voice. We're going to have a different view on things. So we have to share, but do so in a respectful manner so the man don't feel inferior or the man don't feel less than a man. And vice versa. But men have taken it to a whole different level where they just see one piece of the story. Them run, them rule, and them rule. But, but things and time change you now, Cleo. It changed. You get yes. me? I say, yeah, because oh, me see, no woman uh, sit down nowadays. No, I, I met no man, you know, run the head uh, as you said earlier. Right? <laughs> you get me run the head panel every day. Cause you have most most um women now independent. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women. Yeah, I've, independent. I'm more and more independent. Independent, yes. yeah. And then I uh, sit down and take no foolishness. You know what I mean? And a lot of them now are worth more money. Than the the, 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 the the husband or the male in the, the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some of them you know? are. And, and, and they now sit back and take them kind of foolishness no more. And, you know and, see? and as you said that, for real. Study by the International Labour Organization has shown that Jamaica has the highest proportion of women managers globally. Mm -hmm. And that's 59.3%. Uh, 
so 59.3 percent of women globally are managers mm -hmm. which is very good in 2016 it is said that the statistical institute of jamaica what we call starting here in jamaica um women account for 50.5 percent of the population and they are underrepresented in public and private decision making however with just 13 percent of parliamentary of um, having parliamentary positions um as women so what we get from that now is mm. that even though you have 50.5 percent of women in the population to a large extent a lot of women are still being suppressed in the public and private decision making process mm -hmm. so as it relates to economic decisions and as i said parliamentary decisions you find that women are suppressed what is it about the voice of a woman why a man or why the men don't think that women have meaningful voices what is it why is it still so prevalent despite the fact that we have um globally women managers right and even um in jamaica more predominantly women managers why is it that at the decision making levels we have just about 13 percent being women as opposed to a 50 50.5 percent of the population being females it's it's alarming mm -hmm. so i'm getting the view that okay while it is that we are more tolerant of female managers because you do have female prime we've had female prime ministers here in jamaica we've had female par um female um parliamentarians yes or yeah members of parliament who have been females um jobs private sector jobs you have women as the elm as the head the managers and so on and that's good it's good for where we should be going for mm -hmm. this towards this equality mm -hmm. um among the genders but then is it that a woman's head is not or her, her, her views or opinions or ideas are not as good to be accepted by the men who are at the helm of some of these organizations why do they still consider <coughs> a woman's voice not the strong voice enough is it the ego is it that pre because it cannot be the money making no because is it that from so me, long men and women are making the same amount of money right now a woman are make more than man right now too and i want to tell you something yeah in 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 america maybe yeah. it's a little bit worse you do find congress congress women yeah and uh, males i guess that are females yeah but then as you look at how when the elections were held the other day a lot of voices you heard saying they don't want a female president yes and despite her knowledge and her expertise and being in that field mm -hmm. for so many mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. and would have had knowledge mm -hmm. enough mm -hmm. to run mm -hmm. in, the, in the position or to be a, a, a president people were opposing of her on the basis that she's a female despite the other views that they had of her of hillary and despite the views they had of the present president yes there were persons who were saying because she's a female mm -hmm. no female shouldn't lead them yeah so there is still that strong gender inequality existing mm. right across the globe what do you think them them look them look uh, on it and i say maybe she don't have that commanding voice no it eh? can't maybe, be that maybe maybe can't be maybe, that. maybe maybe she not that um stern like like our man you have women Shoot who in. are strong there are and maybe she's not that strong that we if he stand I up i just think that men Me. and society on yeah. a whole have deemed women yeah to be the that person to just stay home and, the yeah. and it's time that that changes yeah. I'm not saying we're going to take over from the men because we know that the men have issues with their ego. Can we still have a same like say we run on the same way? That's, that's so bad to think that. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to even endorse that statement. <laughs> <laughs> but I want a yeah. man to know his place. Yeah. 
and to also understand that a woman has a place. Mm -hmm. And for the woman, yes, she must also know, say, the man has his place and she also has a place. But I want, I would want to see the day come when this level of inequality mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. gender bias. But you have a, you have a, is, well, a, wom a, a, a woman um, prime minister over there in England. Yeah. Yeah. Teresa. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's getting a yeah. whole lot of, yeah. a lot of other things going on with her. Yeah. You know, um, let, let's see what Kevin is saying in Tampa, Florida. Genesis 19, verse 36. Lot, two daughters, drunk their father and had sex with him. That's rape. Oh, where is man? Kevin. That's what it was, Preacher Kevin, you know. Preacher Kevin going into the scriptures for me tonight. So, oh, I, I don't remember the story of Lot and the daughters there, but I remember reading it some years ago when I was in church. Yes, yeah, so that's rape, Kevin says. If they got drunk. So despite them being drunk or not, it's still rape, right, Kevin? Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the scriptures there. Um, let's see what the other persons are saying on the WhatsApp connection. Our numbers again. Um, press the those numbers on me, please. 876 453 1444. That's 876 453 1444. Or 954 338 7973 for overseas peeps. Yeah. All right. Um, Let's see who is on with a message now. Good night, Clear and Prestige. Nova locked in. All right, Nova from Illinois listening in. Good to have you on board as usual. Vivian in Atlanta, Georgia says, Good night, good evening, Lady Cleo, uh, Lady C and Prestige. Very interesting topic tonight. Thank you, Vivian. Um, Big Richie from Highgate, St. Mary. Big up, Daddy Roots and Cleo. All right. So we have Prestige on tonight. Let's see what's further up um, there, Cassidy. Watching from Facebook Live, 330. Okay, let's see what else he's saying there. Um, yes, right there. Good to have you locked in on the Facebook Live. All right. It's not Sandra tonight, it's Cleo. <laughs> Once they hear you, they think it's Sandra, you know. So it's Cleo and Prestige. I believe that the woman should get the pay as a man. As long as she doesn't, she does the work as effectively as the man. Mm. DJ Akeem said that. Mm. All right. Thank you, Akeem. And it's good to hear the men mm. splitting the justice down the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the May issue... I agree with that. May I agree with that too? Um, yeah. Well, this person says, I think the issue lies with the misconception that men have when it comes to women's place in home. This is the most important job in the world, but men and society have frowned upon it and classified it as being irrelevant or menial, not respecting or honoring her. Give a lot of these men a woman's job and they would crumble. Can I tell you something, um, Texter? I so agree with you. Like what? Yeah, man. What we can do. Give you yeah. a whole house mm -hmm. on an average day to yeah. clean. Mm -hmm. Children to prepare lunch for, yeah. or even if they're at home in the summer holidays, to get them to get lunch for them, start lunch for them, ensure that they're clean, worship their little babies, um, monitoring them around the clock, the noise at your head, the cooking at the same time, mm -hmm. the ironing. And all these things. Yeah. Come on now. Mm -hmm. no, average man can't manage that. Mm -hmm. If I call her on the 954. Hello, caller. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Claire. How are you doing? Hi. This sounds like... Um, Marvin? Yep. Okay. How are you doing? Good to have you on board. I'm good. Um, I used to believe the whole thing about um, guys should be doing the whole, you know what I mean, the hard work and team should be doing the... Soft, softer work, jobs? You know, the girl type of work. Yes. But that, my, my views on that changed when I moved to Texas in 2012. Yes, tell us and why. When I tell you that, I've seen so many females in the oil field, right? Yes. And you know the oil field, that, that goes a hard type of job. And when I saw so much female in the oil field job, and I'm like, well... You know what I mean? That's supposed to be a guy thing, and if a female doing it, yes. You know what I mean? Then that's that. Right. And 
I saw that whole tip, that whole tip thing go. Right now, my wife, the top of she does. She makes way, way more money than I do. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And, I mean, me personally, I mean, it's just, she, she can't afford, I mean, she went to school, she did what she had to do to make him that much money. Mm-hmm. Now, it's up to me to set my game up and say, hey, turn for a change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, she make a lot of money. And yes. I could be the same field too, but I don't want to. Yes. You see what I'm saying? And I, I, I think it should have, I think it should have said, oh, if I'm not going to see my work, I think it should be the 50 50 pretty much. Yes. You know what I mean? Because even the whole thing went, when you were saying about the mix and the mark and things, I think a female can do it if, she, if, if, if somebody ch- teach her how to do it. Of course. I think, as, as a matter of fact, I think a female can do any job. Any so job. Can, as, long as, as long as she's been trained to do it to do it the right way. Yep. Yep. That's the way I look at it. Thank you so much, Marvin. Real All talk. Right, good night. Thank you. Good night. It takes an assertive man. Prestige. Mm-hmm. Listeners, it takes an assertive man to speak like Marvin. Mm-hmm. He says his wife wakes, makes way more money than he does. Mm-hmm. But if he wanted to do a similar thing like what she's doing, he could. Mm-hmm. So, but there are some men who the woman is working more than they are. They feel like, oh my God, them, them are not a man no more. Mm-hmm. Them feel like a weak fence. Or, and I'm saying, why? Yeah, but me not have a problem with that. Me like why? That. You know, you shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Kimoy says, Blessed Friday night, Lady Cleo and DJ Prestige. Kimoy, Hype Fans member, Sunning Hill, locked in from St. Thomas. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. We have a caller on 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Cleo, it's me, caller. Yes. Um, we, I want you to face the reality. Mm-hmm. You, will, you will never see, it will never happen <laughs> that women, in terms of facing the manual job and the other job, it will have to be the men. So you will never see the equal quality. Look at a fisherman. Mm-hmm. You're a pilot. A Hold on. driver. Hold on. A ch- Stop. A, you never see a fisherwoman? Who goes to sea, go face the shark and thing? That not means you can't have a woman out there with fish. Maybe I've not no, seen any. No, no, no. I've no, not we, we, seen any, but that doesn't mean that they don't have, they don't have fisher women out there. Come on. Is it, is it that we have the reality? You'd never see a woman go out there challenge the shark. I mean, you can never say you'll never see a woman go out there challenge. So wait. Shark can't no, eat man no. too. No, but you're not going to see it. I, I will have from the beginning. If, if I, I will not agree with you, Carl, that you will never see it. You, These young that, people coming nowadays, they, they're going into some fields. You're wondering, where did that feel? Where, where did that job come from? It's new to you. Well, there are people out there who would take on a challenge right. like that. There are females out there okay. who okay. would okay. take on a challenge like that if they wanted to. Clear. Clear. You see, we have the cricket coaches and the um, athletes coaches, you know, say. Most of these coaches are men. I did not, not say no, but I'm saying you do have female coaches too. And I'm um, a pilot. Let's say for the pilot. Oh, my she God. Is he telling me you have no female pilots? No, big up, no, I'm saying big up to all the women, like the DPP and the Attorney General and all these people. <laughs> yes, and the political <laughs> ombudsman, yes. Yes, and even yourself that, I mean, for tea children, it's no chicken. I mean, I think women are good at part better than men. Definitely. I, I'm going to be honest with I'm you. So you all give her credit for that, right? Yes. In the school, I tell you, the teaching part, I think that the women would be, I would give them, I mean, 70 or 100. Mm-hmm. That's too small. Right. That's a B. That's a B, sir. Right. <laughs> we don't want no B. Give her a B plus. <laughs> no, but I mean, at least, clear. I, I, I give her ratings. I, I think the women, that be that. But I, I tell you this, I, I'm, no, I'm talking about the reality. The other jobs, the trucker drivers, so men have more concentration from the Stop one. it. From stop it. J- call us. Stop. Yeah. Let us look yeah. at the statistics of road fatalities. You're talking about driving? Let's look at the statistics as it relates to road fatalities. How, what is the percentage of male drivers that cause accidents and crash and kill our people compared to female drivers? Please answer that question, uh, driver. Which, which is more? Which is more? Which is more, you think? More? The men we have more female drivers than men? No, we have more male drivers than female. But well, guess what? I'm more you, female driver um, having more, getting accident. You have more men 
creating the accidents, the deadly ones on the roads. I am not saying that women drivers don't meet sometimes in accidents because they might be nervous, some of them, mm -hmm. or they might make some wrong decisions sometimes. But guess what? Mm -hmm. I think the ratio of male drivers to female that crash on the road is greater. In the population, do you think we have more females than men? Female what? Driver. We have more in the population of the world. Don't we have more globally? We have more, more females than males. You don't think so? Um, it's in everywhere, right? It, it's it's hard to say. I would have to look for stats to prove that you have more females well, even, um, even, than males. But if you, even if you went to church, in in high school, hold on, in primary class, school, you yeah. might find more females. You might find in high school more females too. But as it gets older. Well, well, you might find in some colleges too a lot of females, but the margin gets smaller as you reach, reach the ter tertiary institution. And even in the judiciary, don't you find a lot of female judges, but you would find more males? I right? think so, yes. Yes, all right. So you are looking at so all, whatever these females are doing here with. They asked to uh, inherit it from the males, <laughs> from the <laughs> wife. <laughs> I hear, I hear all you, sir. The, 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 I don't want you to just bear face reality. In all the fields that you can think, yes, the women rise, but they did not rise from the male, right? Even in the security forces, right? It's mm -hmm. always the male has to take the harder part of the world in the world. The jackhammer. And the, the, bridges, the reason whatever. for that, as we said, alluded to earlier, um, Carla, is that from time has been, you see where certain jobs, the women were placed in them or they naturally had to take on certain uh, jobs as it relates to caring for the family. So the men would go to do these jobs and these work while the women stayed home. So from then, it was deemed that what the woman was doing was not even so much um, worthy of a pay because this was their natural responsibility and duty. We were the nurturers and the caregivers. So it's coming from yet. that point, but things have so changed now where women are still nurturers, yes, women are still caregivers, but so many more women now are going out there to work. So they I'm should no that. longer be considering things the way they are considering them. The final point, mm -hmm. I would have to ask you, if men, if who is the protector of the, the women, the men, the women protect, uh, are always protecting the men, are the men protecting the women? The men should be the, the guidance and the protectors, but are they so really? Ish. Okay, so that's why it's always be superior. Right? No, I said they should. That's my operative word, sir. They sh I didn't say they are. <laughs> I said they should. I carefully said they should, but how many of them are doing it? Should you have enough women nowadays guiding and nurturing and caring for the men and leading the men. Than, than the men leading and, the women. So many of them out of them there are should, doing the, the man's should, job, per se. Some of them should rape the men more, much after. Uh, All right, sir. I hear you. Have you ever been raped, sir? Yeah. Have you ever been raped? I, I can't be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would All right. like to. I, I would like to, but I can't be. Oh, you would like to be. Yeah. All right, Carla. Thank you so much. You're something else. <laughs> you would like to be. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> I knew that's where he was going, you know. Um, Eugene Grant, hardly believe. <clears throat> um, this is even a discussion in the day and age. Um, why is it my countrymen so um, um, misogynistic, misogynistic rather, yes. This homophobic, <coughs> idiotic, primitive thinking is what holds Jamaica back, despite all the great resources and beautiful culture. These arguments from the caller have been put, uh, been put to rest by science long ago. Sounds like an idiot festival. <laughs> <laughs> it named Matra. All right, Akeem, Eugene, Grant, Sinclair, um locked in there on the facebook live thank you guys for your input um yvette m rodney is on as well luna and Gudas, we see you as well akeem clark 
All right, on the Facebook live connection. Big up a safe, Luna. Um, it, it's let's, let's go back to the the Vox part. We have another part there which we need to drop on quickly. A uh, caller on, of a caller on the f- nine five four. Good night, caller. Hey, I'm clear. Yes. Uh, what that guy just said about uh, God bless you, soul. That's all I can say. <laughs> but, but. You know, like the, my mechanic, my person making that work on my car. She's a, you know, she's a female. Yes. Wow. A female, right? And on, on, even even on the whole thing about here talking about fish a woman, whatever not. You will never watch the the, the 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 history channel and see all them female and guys out on rough sea catching fish and all them kind of stuff. You'd be surprised to see them. Can I tell you? I mean, I don't know what world he's living in, but. <laughs> time, time, time changed. Like change. Females, it has changed so much. Time changed. Yeah. And you know, nowadays females they like hot clothes, hair style, nails done, this done, that done, and majority of them not gonna sit there and wait and do to do that because they're independent. Nope. So they're gonna go there and make money and do what they gotta do to take care of themselves. Yep. Quite so. And, and, and there are times when they can, you can sometimes can look, we look at a woman and think some men do it, and they think, oh. She's a quote-unquote pretty girl. She likes the hair and the nails. And you'll be surprised to know that these very women who they might put aside as just fancy girls can do some things. You'll be surprised to see them at work. Yeah. Yep. And then there are those who look like they are hardcore and rough and they are the softest things and can manage not one thing. So it's not good for a man to sit and judge that, oh, a woman um, is inferior to a man. It's not fair. I don't think it's fair at all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what 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 area he living in, but this is time and change. Everything changes. So female doing everything. Yeah. Female driving truck. You got female truck driver. You're talking about yeah, guy driving truck. You got female driving truck. Definitely, you know I mean? I've seen some women driving some buses here in Jamaica in the states, and I'm like, whoa. And when I say women, I, I don't mean no big, strong, strapped in woman, you know. I mean, yeah. simple, ordinary, s- s- small body ladies. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, moving up big unit. It's about the skill that they have learned and, and garnered. And, and it's so funny because sometimes here in America, you see some, some, some young females driving some bus. Mm-hmm. And the way them, them back up the bus and turn. And oh, yeah. If, oh, if yeah. Done, if not, I, I person saw a guy. So I don't... I don't I believe any, any, a female can do anything a guy can do as long as she's been trained the proper way. She can that's, do it. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Marvin. All right. All right. So from, um, as it relates to sexual... Oh, 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 oh you don't feel, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, feel. Oh, it's now whole lot thought prestige. It's yeah. 11 o'clock. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Sunkum. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 890. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1 Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com. 
or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio, we have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent, seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. Looking at gender biases that exist. Yes, we believe, I strongly believe as a woman that it exists. Um, biblically, men are deemed superior. I disagree. Ooh, would you accept this and abide accordingly? No, no man controls me, but uh, we share equally and respectfully views yeah. and opinions and ideas mm -hmm. and we share mm -hmm. a life together what you don't want for yourself don't give to me and what right. i don't want for myself yeah. i should not give to him all right. Either. All right. Simple. True. that's true all right you know me i like me i like to share something with the listening audience right mm -hmm. i'm wanting to participate right Come on, no found the home that right now when <laughs> i to lie down on the bed you know i want to sit down around the table you know and I sit down in the living room. I want to kind of take out your phone and just WhatsApp. Yeah. yeah, just WhatsApp. You don't have to call. If you don't want to call, you don't have to call. Right? I may put it out there. What's what the social name again? Where, up at, at Tampa, where his name just called a couple of minutes ago? Uh, Marvin? Marvin. Mar yes. Yeah, Marvin. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, Marvin, give him input to this now. We may say right now. Come here and Cleo was talking about this half here. And Cleo, give me your input. And she goes, Give me it again, pan ear. <laughs> yeah, yes, you laugh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you have a, a house, a bill, right? And um, it's a three story house, and you call this construction company. And when you call this construction company, you see um, a lady come, and um, she's the contractor, so. You all sit down and go through the blueprint and stuff like that. And he said, okay, no problem. Husband look on the panel every day. And the wife is there and, you know, because, you know. And then when the crew come, <laughs> it's all female. Uh, and it's a three-story house here, Bill, you know. <laughs> say eight bedroom. Uh, and it's all female. Uh, yeah. God. Come for do the work. <laughs> As a man or a woman, what, what would be going through your mind? You don't really let them go ahead and do the work? If they're competent yeah. enough and they have them qualifications, yeah. why not? Why make not? You have, you have a lot of people, as <laughs> when we said before, the practical <laughs> part, they're not too, too panic, but at the same time, they can't read the blueprint. Yeah, but I think yeah. the only thing that would cause me to stop yeah. is that I'll be like, in awe, mm -hmm. like, whoa. Mm -hmm. You know, I have. I know that there are females mm -hmm. who do house construction, yeah. but it's growing up uh, predominantly yeah. seeing men seeing mm -hmm. men at this field. Yeah. So I'd be like, wow, and I'd want to definitely see their 
jobs that they have done mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. I would not say, oh, no, no, can't wrap up my house. No, no, you know. But I would that. really, the fact yeah. that they're there would yeah. mean that they are professionals and they yes. can do their job. Mm -hmm. But I would want to see work that they have done. And it might sound a little bit biased still. Me sure you're not going to have that. Ask, that Did much confidence. Me no show sure you never have that much confidence in, them, in, 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 in all those women <laughs> for your work on your house and not even two, three men did it. Why not? Hmm? Uh, maybe you don't want a male still, but that doesn't mean no, that the sir, woman me, can. Me, me personally, me I say, listen up. Um, so oh, if you come on to, hold on, if, oh, if you come on to washing your car, mm -hmm. And a group of women. I don't have a problem with that. Oh, if you come on to come into the house and clean yeah. the house for you. I don't have a problem three with that. Three story house, some top to bottom women come in. I don't have a problem with that. So, yeah. why because some women come to build the house or to paint the house? Me never see, me never see a construction company yet with just lone women just to come come. You know, me not say. We are now then in can't do it, you know. We but at the same time, me not have a feel. Me not have a feel. As opposed to the yeah. 18th century. If you know, say it's a three story house and I'm going to lie down in it and, and them are going to build it. So, whether it was a, okay, if it was a one story house. Both house. No problem. <laughs> oh my God. You no want those men who is, who is promoting this gender inequality yeah. thing mm. right now? But, but, may I tell you, Cleo, me not going to feel, I'm not going to feel comfortable. Me not gonna say they, they're not, they're not um, um, competent enough for, for, for do the work. You, know? you get me? I say. What you saying in essence, right? sir? Right? We not for do the work, but me not gonna feel comfortable because me never say, right? <laughs> women alone uh, build a house, just women. Oh please! Yeah. Um, Yvette in Canada says, if they can do it, let them do it. Mm. Let's see the messages on the regular text line for a minute. There, Prestige. Good night, Lady Clear and Prestige. That one is too mix up. <laughs> That's what <laughs> Joy said to our caller yeah. earlier. Um, to my friends Damon and Dwight. All right. Next week is their birthday. Big up yourself when it mm. comes Saturday. All right. Um, quickly here, I was born and raised in Kingston, roots in Saint Thomas. Like Peter Mackenzie there. Um, the person missed last week's show, but they're here tonight. All right, got that one earlier. All right. Um, mm -hmm. This Andy, what Andy saying there now? The man them too lazy nowadays, so the woman going to take over all the man them job. <laughs> it's, just like, it's, just like, it's just like me, right, Cleo? Mm -hmm. Going to the, to the hospital, right? And me, I grew up from back then. I know, say, well, the nurse am a female. And they'd be in the hospital, though, right? And me say, a female, a male nurse come down to me and say, yo, bro, pull the pants down, man. We got to give you an injection. Me not going to feel comfortable. Yes, it work. You get me? <laughs> I'm wondering me. if the men yeah. who get sick and go to the hospital, yeah. when they see the male nurse, they, they get better at the same time. I wonder. <laughs> Ten, no, years from, sure, yeah. ten years from now. <laughs> there's some work. You get me a say? I don't think I would want to yeah. be comfortable with a male, with and a a male, male yeah. nurse. Yeah. Not that he's not competent. Yes, that's I'm what I'm saying. Feel, I mean, yeah. I don't feel the vibe of yeah. a male nurse. I think to me, at yeah. maybe he'll be more careful mm. still. Maybe. Mm. And maybe more tender mm. and gentle in the approach. Mm -hmm. But I still don't think I want to. Male nurse. So, so give well, me no injection from my bottom. Well, we look at it this way. Even though he's a nurse, right? And he's and a male. And he would have seen right. several bottoms and vaginas. Yeah, and, and he's a male, right? Yes. What do you think about the, the pay? Because, you know, say, uh, women, right? Mm -hmm. When we talk about nurse, we usually talk about women. Women. Right? Mm -hmm. You think these women getting more paid than these male nurse on that level? I don't think so. And that gender level? I don't think so. Eh? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe depending on what it is that they have to do, which will separate the pay. Yeah. Or qualification or yeah. so. But I don't think they're doing the same thing. Because they, remember, you know, when we are growing up, you know, we never know anything about you no know, male nurse, you know. Yeah. We know we about hear, porter. We, hear of nurse, we know about doctor. Right, it's, yes. You get me? I say. And then all of a sudden, now we have male nurse male and nurses. stuff like that. Yes. Andy says. <laughs> Let's see what Andy says, um, Cassidy. <laughs> Ten years from now, women will be doing much more than these young men who are trying to become <laughs> women. <laughs> so in 10 years' time, he's saying the women now will be doing much more than the young men who are trying to become women. Yeah, they're wearing our clothes. They're doing their hair the same way. Mm. They, they bore them ears all over the place and their body all over the place. I tell you, um, 
you can ask for the nurse you want. Yeah. Yvette. Thank you, Yvette. So if you want yeah. a male nurse. We know that. We know um, that. But you we will, are you want a female nurse, right? Most definitely. Yeah. Which nurse would you want, Cassidy? Well, you can't ask Cassidy. Cassidy <laughs> must want a female nurse. <laughs> I'm just pulling his legs yeah. right now. I know he's going to say that. Mm. Um, we, we, we're looking at the, the harassment in the workplace. You find if a man again were to complain that his a colleague mm -hmm. passes and touches him on mm -hmm. yeah. the private area, mm -hmm. is it deemed as, sure, I play, I play with you. But then when a woman complains that the boss or her sub officer, whatever, mm -hmm. um, passes and touches her on the bottom mm -hmm. or smacks her on the butt yeah. or looks at her a certain way. Sexual harassment yeah, in the, in the workplace. Sexual harassment claim right yeah. here. So. Yeah. so that's another aspect which I think has a bias. Yes. Where a woman, if she grip, grips the man's mm -hmm. uh, member, mm -hmm. And we report feels it. it. Yes. And rubs it and yeah. Yes. It's harassment. Oh, you mean? It is. But do the men, you see the men, you know, some of them are kind of head partner good, you know. Some of them seem to like that. Yeah. Because it will lead them to getting other mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do men complain that these things are harassment? Do they complain? The woman, on the other hand, if she likes the man, maybe she won't complain. Mm. But if she doesn't, then she goes to complain. Which, by the way, it is still harassment. Whether she likes him or not, it's still harassment. Right, right. So I'm not condoning it. But if the man, if it were to happen to the man on the workplace, in the workplace, they more, they more believe the women. They more tend to want to believe. That's a bias that we yes. need to look at. Mm -hmm. Yvette Rodney on the Facebook Live says, he is... One of the older men who can't open up his eyes and see what's going on in the world. Um, that's the, the text earlier on. Mm. In Canada, men take off from work and take, ki take time off from work and take care of his child while women go to work. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And, and the, the, the developed countries, things are somewhat different from the developing ones, you know. Yeah. We, we, in terms of uh, on a, the ratio, the scale, wider. It's, certain things are different. Um, Anthony Shakespeare. Wow, Shakespeare. I took an airline from Florida to Washington, D.C. It has an all-female crew. Best landing I ever experienced. Go, ooh, ooh, ooh. Go to the females. Mm -hmm. Anthony Shakespeare says, it's not all, it's not about the sex. It's about ability. Not about the sex as in male or female. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. It's the ability. All right. Um, my daughter is an elite military combat soldier yeah. in the U.S. Special Forces. Ooh, nice. You see that? Military combat soldier. Mm -hmm. Female. Mm -hmm. I wonder if our text says, is our caller is listening to this. Um, he further says that a black woman invented the cell phone. They can do what they set their minds to. And I totally agree. You, you ever wonder why it is that the females are the ones who bring forth the babies? And you tell me about me inferior to a man? <laughs> oh, boy. Go back to the Vox Pop. Look at me. Look at me, Prestige. Look at me. If God did ever give the chance to have babies, you know, dead enough for you before child's birth, during and have to have the baby. Okay? So, there's a reason why we are separate and apart from you. Despite that rib, mm -hmm. the rib is to show the connection between us. We need each other. At it as show. Mm -hmm. You know the pressure where we have to go through? <laughs> to do eh? That's what the sperm? If you go into that baby. Oh, Jesus. You know I'm the pressure? I'm enjoying myself so you much. You know the pressure? What kind of pressure? After we do done our week. You know huh? the pressure where we go through? Is it for eh? real? So by the time we can't even stand up? <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please. Just lie down there and rest. Eh? We don't go through no pressure. One little egg. ejaculation, what sperm come, fused with egg. Yeah. Nine months, seven months of pain and nausea and, and, and aches here, aches mm. there, mm. face bump up, bump up, skin yeah. sort of swell up, put on weight, your foot them swell, you can't walk. We go through the torture. Yes, because we're born for that. And then they say we are inferior. How, no, dare, no you, how dare them? 
In ladies, how dare these men? No, the last part of this <laughs> box, Bob, quickly. Yeah. Think about from kids level to adulthood. Mm -hmm. Who do you think has more privileges to get by in society nowadays? So nowadays, <laughs> boy, for the women, they might have a little edge. Yes. But it's, it's kind of hard to make the call because mm -hmm. for men, when them know them bridging and bridging and bridging and they little connections them mm -hmm. and them can drop a money here and there to get by mm -hmm. they do no 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 women now if you do nothing more than just put on when they put on and just walk <laughs> in front and, 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 and everything done then now if you have a dollar yeah so you're saying the women get by in society put on when they have to put on and just walk and from them walk but, and go inside a place that's it but, but then there are certain jobs like for example chef yes when a, per, a place wants a, a chef, yes, them readily hiring a male chef or a cook. They're not going to look to say, okay, someone will tell you they don't want any female mm -hmm. in the restaurant. They mm -hmm. want male chefs. Yeah. So that's not fair. You have some women when who I'm can a, really cook good. But, but what I'm to when they want a reception is a receptionist in our business place. They do go for the women, right? Yeah. They don't want and they tend to think that the males, males, the males yeah. might be a little bit on that side yeah. if they are reception. I don't think so. That's not a fair statement. But they do make the statement. You so know? you see, so you're saying to each then, based on what we have grown up and society has seen in terms of predominance, mm -hmm. that's what is leading to this gender bias thing. Yeah. But you see, it's time we educate ourselves and know that um despite the norm that we have we have been accustomed to, mm. things are changing. Time is changing. There is a revolution taking place. Dynamics as it relates to how people operate and the, the, the jobs that they're taking on. And you have people who are going towards the more, the more lucrative jobs to get as much yield from it as possible. Mm -hmm. So if they know they can manage the physical hard labor work, they're going to do it because do. they want the payment that that comes yes. with. Mm -hmm. Right? So to each his own. And at the end of the day, um, if society allows us to get by more, then thank God I'm a woman. <laughs> so, but men do get by too. Maybe a little bit more women might, depending. Not a little bit, not a little bit. So you're saying that women use your sexual appeal to, to get by? I'm just not using the, that. No. Oh, you're not saying that? No. Oh, okay, just checking. Mm -mm. So they, go, they, get, they put on their clothes and step out. Mm. So you're saying men are weak. No. Weakened by what they see as it relates to a woman coming. Right. How then can we be the inferior? Um, we have a letter. How <laughs> oh, then? Letter, I'm coming to that right no, now. No, no. We have, we have, we have, we have a, a letter. letter. Yes, man. Eh? How then? Yeah. If men see us. Yeah. And Cassidy, please listen. You get something wrong with that too. If men see <laughs> us <laughs> and they get weak and yeah. they shiver. Yeah. And they don't even know themselves mm -hmm. or their heads just start to twinkle mm -hmm. yeah how then i leave you with this gentleman and the man who called earlier how then can you say a woman is inferior to a man or how then can you say a man is superior to a woman i rest my case good night caller uh, no, 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 I can hardly hear you. Go right ahead. Speak up, please, darling. All right, all right, Errol Makala. Hi, Errol. How are you? No, not so bad. Yes, what's your view, sir? Um, yeah, man. They, they, no, no, I, I don't see anything wrong, 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 wrong with that as well. I, 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 I don't understand what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah, man, I, I have no problem with it. Okay. So you think that women should be treated equally and men should be treated equally as well? Yes, man. Yeah, yes. All right, sir. Yes, and so tomorrow my birthday as well, too. <laughs> uh, and what? Uh, tomorrow is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday when it comes to you. Er it's Errol, right? Yeah, Elroy. Elroy, man. Elroy. And where are you calling from, Elroy? Yeah, man, I'll be Martin. Saint Mary. Saint Mary, all the very best to you. Enjoy your day. May God's blessing flow on your life for the whole of the year and years to come. All right? Yes, yes. And don't overdo anything tomorrow now, you know. Yes, no, 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 no. <laughs>
All right, so all the very best to you and thanks for calling. Yes, sir. All, right. all right, good to hear from our friend there in St. Mary. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we close out our Vox Pop for tonight. Men, women, women, men, treat each other equally with love and respect that you want for yourself. Mm -hmm. Real talk. All right? All right. So we go to our letter for tonight. And we have another quick call there. Hello, caller. Good night. Hello. Good night. Yes, darling. Yeah, we are ta they're talking about man can. Man can be a pain, you know? Mm-hmm. As they hit and hot them, not kill you to them, my pian song, I'm both out. <laughs> they turn baby. As they hit hot them, then go and let them a baby. You can't you can batter them and do them anything at that time. Yes. <laughs> so they and couldn't, they couldn't really be any pain to bring a child. Bring a child, a true. A true, yes. true, true. And I, I, I have like a call, you know, and yes. start sniff up. Oh my. Yeah, them just true. weak, no, and just turn baby for true. Peer mouth. Okay, mama, I hear you. Yeah. Prestige. Mm -hmm. She said when you get like a cool, I have like a flu or so, mm -hmm. I'm just turn baby. Yeah, that's and true. Like a pain start like you know, just yeah. weak out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're weak out. But that the pain is Real talk. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All, right, All right, darling. Thanks for calling. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, we go to the text line. Quick, 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 and then we go into our letter. Mama Winsome says, no pain you men go through um, alone. It's only one pain, ejaculation, and that's it. So mm -hmm. we're going to go through no pain, we are prestige. Going to, no, man, we are going to, like, you see, we go to the pain that you know when they're in the hospital, you know, uh -huh. and you have baby, you know, we have feel it, you know. Feel what? No, I feel nothing. Oh, you mean? You have Mentally? You feel the next girl. Mentally? Which next girl? We are going to pull off with. Me, me little girl we are born? <laughs> no, no, that me at all. <laughs> Lady Gracie says, Prestige are talk about tiredness. Mm. Can you imagine if God didn't make women like the spider? <laughs> I'm trying to imagine that one, Gracie. Yeah. Remember, we don't accept, uh, we can't accept voice messages, right? It's just text messages on the WhatsApp. Thank you. All right, so we go. Um... Let me see. Kevin says, Prestige, in my line of work, women work alongside me. Believe this. They give me a run for my money. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And I do believe Kevin is one of those persons who work on the... Con no, I, guess, I think it's construction thing mm -hmm. he does. Maybe uh, Kevin... Uh, carpentry. Maybe, maybe. What is it, Kevin? I think it's a manual... It's a maybe, physical job that he man, does. Me a nurse. Ah, uh, I doubt yeah. that seriously. So the woman might give him a money, for, run free money. Oh, me a nurse, not nah. you, Kevin. <laughs> eh? All right, guys. <laughs> we go to our letter for tonight, Cassidy. And here goes. <clears throat> Something happened to me a week ago. And me just a brace for the worst. <clears throat> I've been engaged for 10 months now. And my fiancé, or should I say fiancé, <laughs> Fiance is also expecting a baby. Fiance. Things are going well and most things are in place, especially with the baby on the way. People say we are a model couple. To be quite frank with you, I can't say sincerely that I'm ready to settle down. So I can man talk. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I talk. I know, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have two other women, oh Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. I have two other women who kind of make things balanced. So, Whoa, but nice. three sound like it's, a, it's, an, imbal it's an imbalance to me. Eh? Three women? Eh. He, has, he has what? Two other women and he has one at home with a fina, fia, fina, fiance. Yeah. That's not like three. That's not like a balance to me. Mm -hmm. Anyways, they both know about the wifey. Yes. And number three knows about number two, mm -hmm. judgment. Real man. You hear what you say? Mm. Number three. No, about number about, two. So number two knows about so number, number three. Two, no, about okay. Number three. But I've I'll... tried breaking up many times to go the one burner route, or mm. route. Mm -hmm. But I can't deal with the tears. Besides, they both serve their purpose. A week ago was at, a week ago I was at an Undisclosed location 
with number two having a lovely night out. Oh, as it was her birthday, yeah. and all of a sudden, mm. number three appeared out of nowhere and started a scene. Mm-hmm. Imagine this girl knows what the deal is and was cursing and slapped and slapped me girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stopped your other girl. <laughs> mm, the man girl, uh, the man girl. Actually fighting her off. I didn't know what to do. So I take on myself. What a worthless nigga. As I didn't want to be videoed. Now I have to lay low. But these girls want an explanation and threatening me about mashing up my life if I try to leave. <laughs> 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 and they say it gets sticky. What can I do to get out of this? And they say it gets sticky. OMG. Mm. You better run away and go on a muck up. So, so you see, you see, you see, you see, number, number two never know anything about number three. No, you couldn't tell number two about number three because number two, I said, listen to me now. Yeah. Me not, you know, your wife is enough. Yeah. Your fiance is enough. We are yeah. going one more, so she wouldn't accept that. Yeah. But when him tell number three about number two, number two, three yeah. believes that his wife and she. Yeah. He might play smart. He's a smart piece of boy. Mm. He's a smart piece of boy. Mm. What you see? Mm. <laughs> what Get that darkness, up. my love. Mm. <laughs> it's almost not more than light. It's like mm. stadium bulb shining upon mm. him bright, bright, bright. Cause she created a scene. So where was he? It wasn't so undisclosed then, my youth. The location wasn't so undisclosed. Because if it was so undisclosed, mm. how comes number three appear all of a sudden out of nowhere? Did she get some hint? Did she hear a, is that phone call to say, so and so at so, so and so at so and so place with a girl? Oh, she am for us reach at this undisclosed location. I mean, I get it. Mm. Because clearly, it must have been in an open public space then. Mm-hmm. Did she come and catch? And I'm saying, if you go go one place with a restaurant, having a lovely night out himself because it's her birthday, with a restaurant right. or a park right. or something, mm-hmm. then my girl must have a my girl like FBI mm-hmm. number three are FBI. So, so, so if if it, if it was a park, right? Well, we can't understand how him catch number- how, him, how him get catch. You know what? It's eleven thirty. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services, and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We we'll soon come back with this. In balance. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call Call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious Digital T. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518 2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399, 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email 
info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go again once more with the letter, just in case you are just joining us. Something happened to me a week ago, and me just a brace for the worse. I've been engaged for 10 months now, and my fiancé is also expecting a baby. Things are going well, and most things are in place, especially with the baby on the way. People say we are a model couple. Fake to be quite frank with you, I can't say sincerely that I'm ready to settle down. I have two other women who kind of make things balance. They both know about the wifey, and number three knows about number two. I've tried breaking up many times to go to the one burner route, go the one burner route, but I can't deal with the tears. Besides, they both serve their purpose. A week ago was... I was at an undisclosed location with number two, having a lovely night out as it was her birthday. And all of a sudden, number three appeared out of nowhere and started a scene. Imagine, this girl knows that what the deal is and was cursing and slapping my girl. Actually, fight her off. I don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, so I'm going to take on myself as I didn't want to be videoed. <laughs> and you know, nobody doesn't video everything, right? Now I have to lay low, but these girls want an explanation and threatening me about mashing up my life if <laughs> I try to leave them. <laughs> what can I do to get out of this? So this dude, you know, but I want claims to know. I'm an But I want to know where, where, where number two said to, to him. To him? Yeah. About this girl, because number two never know anything never about know this girl. About her, so I don't want to know where number where number two. So I mean, uh, I yeah. up no girl though. Mm. I am me a, me a trump. Yeah, we are trump the man for you know just walk and no, you go no. and you see what happened, and you no. just go yeah. home and you just pack yeah. your things and leave. Uh -huh. Yeah. Not after I try to smack him down first. Are you waiting on him till he come home and you sit down and you have him hold a conversation? No, and to hold me and find out what is what? at the time, yeah. sorry. Because we can't make mistakes in our life, you know, because we are human beings and we make mistakes. True. Yeah. True. But we make mistakes, so you cannot sit down. To all me, I got us vexed, you know, yeah. say. Him have never want to carry me out, but him carry out number two gun pan date. Mm -hmm. He bought birthday. Mm -hmm. Me not deal with she. Me not beat up no girl. Me not fight no, no girl. No. If I defend myself, that's yeah. different. But me not tackle on no catty. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. You want him and him choose to come stay with you? Mm. Then so be it. I yeah. him going to deal with. Me not deal with she. Yeah. Me and she, who is she? I don't know her from anywhere. What am I going to tackle her about? You, you don't Did need to. Did she all gone to his head and say, come and be with her? No, you no. don't need to. So just leave. If so I going to deal go with anybody, I'm going to deal with So when you go home now, what are you going to do? Beat him up? Might can't manage him. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still gonna tell you. I know you're, 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 you're pissed about the whole oh, thing. Oh, God. Right? You're upset <laughs> about the whole thing. Can right? I tell you? Yes. Oh. You're mad, you're vexed. A whole heap of things run up in your belly, all about in your belly. You oh, get me? You could have diarrhea at the same time. Yes. You get me? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And maybe another time for your menstruation come and it does come. Come. Because stress bring on these things. Yeah. Up. You know yes. what I say? So, what you that do? Why? You know, go home with him and sit down and go talk home to him. With him? Yeah. Uh -uh. You know what? You know, you know what? Talk to him. You know what? Find out what is what. I, Who is this young I lady? Think I would want, but not at the moment in time. Oh, you're lost. Yes. Yeah. Not at the moment in time. Cause to home, I go probably feel. Yeah. 
and worship, depending on some things that happened prior to. Mm-hmm. I may discover this now. Mm-hmm. Worship some holy pop bag of lies. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. In the evenings, in um, mm-hmm. the office, mm-hmm. and when you analyze the whole thing, everything mm-hmm. starts playing back in your head. Mm-hmm. And you realize, say, mm-hmm. all the stress and the agony that you went through for him was because. You know, suppose it's never worth it. But Come no, on. no, maybe at the right time now for this happen, for him really, as when they said before, say he wants to break up, but yeah, he but, can't but, take the tears, and this got happen like this now. But, but, and this is the time now for him just go. But you know, see him under pressure. One burner right you see now. Under pressure, if you are running, I can't. The man, yeah. the man, for yeah. mash up the thing, fin that it owes. Yeah. Go back to the letter, um, Cassidy. Yeah. <laughs> but what I want to know from this dude, you see, mm. is. If you're not ready um, to, to, to settle down, why are you living in a facade or wearing a facade mm-hmm. where people are saying, oh, we're the model couple? Mm-hmm. Model couple suggest that the way you behave and operate right. around each other in public right, space right, right. gives people the view that this is the quote-unquote ideal couple to emulate. Mm-hmm. So if it is that you're you're living that way. Mm-hmm. Is it for real or is it a facade? Because you're showing this thing to people, yes. but then in your headspace, mm-hmm. to be quite frank with you, I can't say sincerely mm-hmm. that I'm ready to settle down. Mm-hmm. So in other words, explicitly stated, he is not ready to settle down. Then why are you mislead? Oh, you reach the fiance status, my youth. Fiance, in my view, it's a French word by the word fiance. Mm-hmm. It means that you would have reached a point where you're Ring. next to marriage. Yes. So you've been, and it, and it did say he's been engaged for yes. 10 months now. Yeah. We don't know how long him and this girl are going out, but she's expecting a baby. So I want to look at time probably, let me go. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But, but engagement 10 months, 10 for months, 10 months. Yes. And baby, I don't know how far off the pregnancy is. At the same time, I'm a model couple. And at the same time, I'm not ready. I'm sure, say, I'm not ready for settle down. Mm-hmm. What's with the, the, the life? The double life then? Because you're living a lie. What's with that? Is he, is he psychotic? Is he him sick? In just being a typical average man. That's just what a you Oh, but player. why mess up this fiance's head space? Mm-hmm. Okay, down below him say they he has thought of well they both know about the wifey. But think him better more than more than can chew. Mm-hmm. They know about wifey. I've tried breaking up many times to go the one burner route, but can't deal with the tears. Mm-hmm. He, he's a weak man. But 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 he's inferior. Yeah, but this now where am. Um, it can give him a chance right now. If you wait now, if you sit down with these two young ladies mm-hmm. and tell them straight up. Here. Yeah, well, so them have to go here. So when you tell them no, no. they don't want them anymore. No, we have to go come to. What do you think they're going to do? Then, then. What do you it, think these girls are going to do? Worship create. they are vindictive and malicious. But it's still okay, a problem. Because Sharon, if, 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 <laughs> if, 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 if him, if him, if him, right? Mm-hmm. Sharon, I want to see him and feel spare time and palette I go want to see him and feel spare time how him I go work that out because if him there palette yard <laughs> you get me I say <laughs> if him there palette yard yeah. sit down and feel him phone caring the palette <laughs> say Sharon uh, name I come up on him phone can I tell and you Sharon number I know of such cases yeah caring phone caring so you have to go sit down and talk to them now and say listen up right you're not going to sit down with both of them one time you know Mm-hmm. God, that's going to be a problem, right? So. But they already know of each other, so Yeah, but not? you know why I sit down with them both at the one time? <laughs> you talk to them individually, right? Tonight, I yeah, this want afternoon, I go talk. Match, match round two. And I go talk, yes, and say, I don't want to match round two. Because that time, I'm going to match up for my life, you know, with me and my fiance. fiance. Yeah. <laughs> so you sit down, and you talk to Paulita, you say, Paulita, listen up. I don't think, you're going to hurt her, you know. Because, See, man, you know, man, she tears. You're going to hurt her. And you're going to get too... Because deep down, deep down, no. when you tell her, I said, I'm going to break up with both of you. She is still not going to believe that I'm going to break up with yeah, she. You understand? And I want to maybe not believe that I'm going to break up with that one. You know? You get me? But she she, she could have it in her face and say, you know, say, it come like a mean one, get rid of you, know, man. And then look away there. And then you go go there with 
Sharon around this, you know. You get me? <laughs> and the next one, Both I think it's your way. Yes. Of you get yeah. me? I say, so you have to tell them, right? And you move on. Tell them, say it over. And you move on. But him said, them serve them purpose. What kind, of, what kind of purpose do you think they would serve prestige? Tell us. Hmm? What kind of purpose would you think? I don't know if, if they might they um, take care of him financially. But they both serve their purpose. I would want to think yeah, that they both have know. different purposes. Yeah, maybe one of if them. If you were to no, have two women, yeah. what do you think what one of the purposes would be? One? Yes. What would one of the purposes Money. be? Money. The, the other one would be what? Eh? The other one would be what? <laughs> uh, uh, good in the department. Money Dance again. well. Money again. Because Sorry, that's what money you want? Money again because me have a wife, my fiance. <laughs> and the baby. You, yeah. You're not easy. Yeah. You're a gold digger. You may get, you know, um, <laughs> sexual um gratification from from one right there from she uh-huh yeah my me, me fiance okay yeah so me all right there so okay so, so there are two areas the money money so you, 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 you give them like some dancing for me's money like, me's like a gigolo to them oh jesus yeah lady grace says man always mm. want more than them can manage mm. him coming like let but, me see what grace is saying there like the dog on the bone Mm. <laughs> you don't have to be you don't oh have to gosh. be sex yeah the, the, good friend um remember the phone lines are open mm. the local number is mm. um, 876-453-1444 mm. and for overseas callers it's 954-338-7973 i dare you to share right now please i'm, I'm no enough i'll ask the better i mean no so no they sleep. haven't right there what I mean, no. an hour ahead now yeah no, they're gone back yeah. Um, go to the next um, one, Cassie. I'm a Jamaican peep, Sim. Miss Brown yeah. says, uh -huh. Miss Brown, number oh, two. Oh, Miss Brown, how you doing? Good night. Um, Im unbalanced. Three is death, and the next thing is a one waste man. <laughs> Cleo, don't let him feel important. Just put him scandal bag outside, and if him don't leave, lock shop on him. That a waste man. The three women them fi plan up and beat him. <laughs> All right, Miss Brown. <laughs> I like that comment. Mm. <laughs> and if you go complain, so police say mm. women beat him, they would laugh at him. Mm. Eh? Mm. Okay, so again, preference to the woman right there. That's what you say. Um, good night. <laughs> Obviously, this <laughs> man doesn't <laughs> work, <laughs> and he. Is supported by all these women. All right. Can you imagine? You see? Oh, gosh. Mm. Jigga, jigga, jigga for two. Marvin in Texas says, yeah. my thing is, if you're not ready to settle down, mm. then why engage? That's right, Marvin. Why not stay single and play a room for rent and apply within? <laughs> oh, Lord. You see, him does want to bite off more than him can really handle. Mm -hmm. He needs to go to church, Kevin says, <laughs> and get baptized in so, the name of the Lord. Yeah. He needs Jesus to chew. So where church can do? Then, then he not can go to church, go get girl in a church. So see if, if he have, really, really have Jesus yeah. and a divine touch, yeah. the Lord will have him wrapped under the blood. Then no they don't do certain things. So, so, so and and, under the blood, Massa. So them pass away are preaching under the blood? Not all of them. And I go with them, I go Some with them. of them, but eh? not all of them. Eh? Not all of them. And everybody was a Lord, 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 we entered into the kingdom, you know, remember yeah. the Bible said that. Yeah. All right. So why you feel say him, when he go in a church, he must save? He could very well be saved. He yeah? might be. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Well, you give him it. <laughs> give him it. <laughs> Roll in Calgary, Alberta says, I must inform Give him up, give him location. Some men too fool. Mm. Then forget to turn off the GPS on them phone. <laughs> <laughs> I hear your own. I guess Ron turning off his GPS, you know. Yeah. Uh, Marvin is sending us another message. Um, let's see. What is Aisha saying? Most men don't, okay, eat at restaurant mm. where women cook. All right, let's go back to the letter while the other messages keep rolling up. So we were at the point where he says both both women serve a purpose. In try to break up with them, but in, in like the tears. So he's mm. a weak man. Mm. He prefers to put his relationship at risk, mm. other than to face the music and just deal with the facts. Say, okay, I got myself entangled and entered in entwined into these webs. You know what? Let me get myself out. Him no wants the tears, but since he never wants the tears, I guess he wants the 
shoulder flinger and a thump and punches of a throw. Mm-hmm. And I guess he want the risk of the fiance mm-hmm. leaving him with the other two possibly leaving him and then he ends up womanless. And it now work. Mm-hmm. Him not seem to be working. And if you give me a link, give me a call. What would you tell him to do, Prestige? Counseling. What would you tell this dude to do, Prestige? Yeah. What would you tell him to do? I will tell him that um, mm-hmm. the double life when I live outside mm-hmm. with them two other women, mm-hmm. just give it up. Yeah. And um, hmm. relax with your fiance mm-hmm. because she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. You know, she needs your support right of now. Of course, you see what I'm So, about? you know, just you give it up. You see what i say? Because, you know, this time right now, oh, she's pregnant right now. And you know what? I have to go find out about these two young ladies. You get me? And mm. put her in all them with a stress for now. stress for the baby, you get yes. Me? Then she go lose all the baby and all them oh, kind of boy, things. You know what i say? And if she go lose all the baby, she's not going to have nothing to do with it no more. She's going to eat it like a poison. You see what mm-hmm. i say? So just give up. The real two talk. young ladies, them, and just move on. I tell you real talk, and I don't joke talk, and just move on, you know? Well, if number <laughs> three, right, never go push up. Up, push up her nose up in a number two <laughs> business, well, <laughs> him could have run in, she was seeing way, and I do him thing smooth. You get me, I say? Right? <laughs> yeah. I but hear you. He done gone bad already for him, so he might have just give up that and. You know, Marvin says, yeah. but prestige, remember, karma is a you know what, you know. Mm. So, hope him can handle it if the girl fit do him the same thing. Him can't handle it, Marvin. Mm. Where you come no from, man? Marvin? No, man, no, can't. Panic, can't handle it. No, can't manage it. You know, if you know, say, have a sister, you know, you, you know say, oh next man, you say, ask, please, have a sister, and then liquid. You're not going to feel good about that. There's something running in your belly. You know, you know, you're going to talk about it all the time. So, we've been through that already in our life, you know. So, something running in your belly, you see, my youth. <laughs> You have diarrhea, same time. You get me? I tell you. You have to walk with you. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I, I, what do you, man? Oh. oh dear. Going Clear. down the line. Going down the line. Um, so, him out to have a lovely night with this chick. Chick number two. Number three appeared. Um, and this is what this boy. Get up and run with gun. After she start cursing and slapping the girl around. All him can think about is video. He never stop the thing, say, mm. him no want to mm. be caught on video with number two sitting down relaxing, mm. enjoying a birth night out with her. Mm. He didn't worry about being caught on video by somebody who might have known number three, yeah? Somebody who might have known the wifey. Him sit down comfortably in a so-called undisclosed location, enjoying the night. But the moment now, fighting and excitement start before you try and part with the lady them or something and walk with Draw away one something, you don't know, far and him take away himself. Mm. Him left the two women, them they fight. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And gone. What can I do this? But I just saw a pop now because you see number two and number three now, like him take away himself. I go sit down and talk. How long this ago and one and something there? Yeah. So I'm saying now beat her up because we want the information. They, they, they will come together and I say, Make a beat her up for you know. Um, you know, I, I don't want to be in any problem with you, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm not going to be in any problem with you, you know, and this because, level, because it's not your fault, you know. Blank as I was. Yeah, it's not Sorry. your fault. But let me just sit down and talk because we know that, you know, um, he's engaged, you know. Mm-hmm. So, and she'll be like, yeah, huh? let me sit down and talk. How long since you know him now? How long you're in a relationship? Are going? And he told him, I'm going to sit down and talk and play against him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, 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 that's why he's yeah. pressing yeah. it. Not so much about the beating up and whatever mm. and finding out. Mm. Finding out, yes, but he doesn't know what it is that they are thinking of doing. Yeah. Down the bottom it says, imagine, okay, so she slap her up and all these things. Mm. Now I have to lay low. So I can't say anything to them mm. no more. Mm-hmm. But these girls want an explanation and mm. threatening me mm. about mashing up my life if I try to leave. <laughs> so clearly... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then if you want to leave the gigolo, um, that a, a text that says he yeah. is um, playing Dolly House. Yeah. He sure is. Yeah. Um, Dolly House on the penthouse. Yeah, we're complaining about him. They're him because the girls yeah. want an explanation and I yes. don't blame them. Yeah. Give me some, yeah. even, if, even if you're going to leave yeah. or you're not going to leave because yeah. clearly his dancing is so good it seems. They don't want to leave because mm. they say um, they're trying to mash up his life. If he 
plans to leave then. When, when if you have money? If you have money, you can't come link me and get some good counseling. How much money? To pay yeah. you for yeah. counseling? Oh, you mean? Consultation. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> you get me? Prestige him have to take with himself because him can't choose side at this point in time. All and right, Ron. Wa- and you know why the band um, video? You and know so. Video. Yes, I'm having to take um, myself too. The I have to mm. lay low. These yeah. girls want an explanation and threatening yeah. me about mashing up mm. my life if I try to leave. So mm. what I want to know now is, him clearly he needs to go explain to them for one. Yes. And then. If it's a case where these girls are mad like that, because you have some girls like that who are just mad and say, mm. okay, you diss me, or you cheat for me, me go make your wifey know what I'm going to tell me lie. Because I know point blank, you know, say them two girls here, right? That <laughs> night, they, they, them talk with them one another. They get me? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, him can go back again and call, say, Palette, and Yvette, right? Him can call Palette and say to Palette, listen, I want to have a talk with you. <laughs> right? Meet me in such, such place. All right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, Paul, it is the type of person now where we say, listen up, call Yvette and say, Yvette, you know, saying, call me and tell me, say, wait, 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 and me and him are going to talk. Because mm-hmm. I told him we had a plot for him, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then him have a date with him. Paul, you know, and I say, listen up. If he want to be a, a player, continue being a player, you know, let me say something to you. You know, say, I love you, right? Me check for you. But at the same time, me know why you make Yvette know anything we are going between me and you, right? We all get back together, pan and live there, but me know why you make Yvette know anything we are going between me and you. <laughs> oh, you're so you know, like... see it, right? Because me know why you kind of get, you know, make my wife know anything we are going. You see me, I say? Yeah, you so, you know. A, you're planning a trick for yeah. them. Yeah, so boom. All, all them at bay. She all that, right? Oh. Boom. Let me tell number three. Call number three now. I'm going to tell number three the same thing. Oh, Jesus. Same Putting thing. Putting yourself in deep hot right? water. What's wrong I'm with you? I'm going to do that, right? If me still want to be a player, I'm going to do that, right? You know, because I <laughs> can't just go tell it to them, say, listen up. It's over. Yeah, because I'm going to my wife have the baby. And then anytime my wife have the baby, then them can If they decide, say, well, they're going to talk now. That's different. You get me? Because uh-huh. the baby born. Me don't want to go through this stress. Oh, with the baby. With the baby. Okay. Pregnancy. That way they pregnancy. Okay. So me tell him that. But the two of them now a plot. They're not and leaving. And they call him one and then I know and they say, listen up. Seem to want to leave. Listen now. You know what I'm saying? Tell me say you know what I'm saying? He call me and he tell me, say, me and him go have a drink a drink and he tell me say really. Right, right. And she said, but I the same thing he tell oh, me too. Jesus. And she was say, Where I say this boy is still do doing something there? And they said, okay, they know two of them meet up now. Call him, tell him, say, one of them call now and say, meet me at such and such. While the two of them did, you know. And when he reach, boom, he say, them say, all right. The man probably sit down and attack. Same time, if it just walk in now, you know. And probably say, sit down. Nobody move. It's sure we're going to talk. <laughs> no move, no he move. It's sure we're going to talk. He can't manage that setting. Him have to sit down and listen to where I go on. It's sure we're going to talk. You know. Well. What you up to? What you decide for do? Mm-hmm. Tell me what you decide for do. Right? Because you tell her this one night and you tell me this one night, right? So what you decide to do? Tell me what you decide to do. Well, right? Crazy. Tell you, what you, know. you want us to just part and just leave you alone? Because yeah, we kind of understand, say, eh? that's and that would be nice. For if him, that, wishful yeah. thinking. Yeah. Let's see what 430 is saying. Heart of love, King Prestige. Yeah. You and your co host, I am just getting in and just tuning in. From what I have heard from. Then to now, this is what I have to say. Change three thoughts. Change. Uh, their, change their thoughts and your world change. Heart of love. Let's teach them the truth. It's not a sin, only an offense. For time is the greatest manifestation of all things to be. Heart of love. Yes, heart of love. comes to you too. He read me up last week. Can I yeah. tell you? Yeah. Yes, heart of love. Big All up right, yourself every time down here in Ocheras, James Avenue. Every in, time. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Um, back to... The man says it's not a sin. <laughs> we have three women. No, he didn't say that. Wait, wait till you be. It, no. <laughs> it's not a sin. <laughs> Go find a point again. What I say, it's not a sin. Uh, but it's a crime. 
<laughs> the woman, the woman, them fool. They should give him a fine whipping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mama Winsome said that. Yeah. Um, back to the letter quickly, Cassidy. Yeah. Um, well, Arta love say Arta, Arta loves Art of Love say it's not a sin. Mm. But you know, tell us if you have you must know say if you have three women, right? He says it's not a sin. But it it's isn't? a crime. It isn't? But it's a crime <laughs> <laughs> in this country. Oh, God. When, you know, you're married to three women. Well, in some African yeah. countries, yeah. they can marry to three women, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, so the girls want an explanation. Yes. Or they threatening to mash up in life. I guess tell the wifey or mm -hmm. the fiancé. Mm -hmm. And that's going to happen if he tries to leave. Mm -hmm. What can I do to get out of the this. Well, Prestige mm. told you what you can yeah. do. What I think you should do yeah. is come straight. Some people will say, oh, you know what? Tell your fiancé just in case. Some will say, uh-uh, my youth. If your fiancé find out, mm. if them talk, you try to patch it and you try to fix it. Mm -hmm. Some will also say, look, man, just cut them off. If they want to tell her, you just have a plan B for come back with them say. Mm -hmm. So you know, so you tell wife, you say, listen to me now, wifey. Mm -hmm. Really and truly, you know. I like the girls, them like me, you know. Me used to go up with the two of them. Mm -hmm. But since they realize once them, them all want me back, mm -hmm. I'm going to say, I want them back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn them away. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. So, what I think you should have done, my youth, is cut off the two mm -hmm. chicks because you're not, you're not. Well, decide, first of all, if you're ready to settle down or not. Come to the place where you're going to decide, say, you can deal with the tears. I want to do the one burner thing. I mm -hmm. want to circle with my chick. Consider your role as the man of the house and the head. We are going to guide and direct your fiance to good health. Mm -hmm. Right? Good delivery of the baby. You're not going to cause her any stress, adverse, unnecessary stress. Be the real big man of your house, my youth. Yeah? And set the example for your youth to grow up and say, you check on your care for mommy. And the baby, tell the two chick them where your stance is. And if push comes to shove, which it might because they're threatening you, firstly, you know what you're going to tell them, say? You have to decide what you're going to tell them, say, as to try to pacify the pain and the anger that they're experiencing. When you make up that story, them love, and tell them what you need to tell them, and what you choose to tell them, then to ensure, say, you make them know your stance. And the position. If moms find out what are going, you better have a shaggy to give them. Mm -hmm. Give her rather, mom, so yeah. that she can feel yeah. comfortable to stick around. Maybe, right. she, maybe she won't go anywhere still. Mm -hmm. But if you delay the wedding thing, mm -hmm. and she find out this, God help him, because she might not say yes to the marriage mm -hmm. again. Well, we we just it can just tell moms, moms, so, such and such, and tell her so. You don't say to moms, moms, you know what? I put up them in life you now when I'm married, I got married now, you know. Yeah. yeah. Stand up and be a man, man. Yeah. You will face the so two music, them, them or the bad music. Yeah. I don't know. Face the rhythm yeah. that is in front of you, these two girls. Yeah. Tell them where your stance is. Yeah. Because if you go and mess around and play around with them, yeah. that'll get worse. Yeah. And wifey to be, to you know, discover things, no doubt, and make your life even more topsy turvy. Clearly, you're mm. weak, you mm. can't manage your stress. Put on stress, my youth. Stress are you, kills. Are you doing that we are too clear? Can you do that we are too, you know? You said to the two young ladies, listen up. Right? Me already explained to moms, you know, about this, you know. <laughs> and what took place, you know. Me already explained to her. So, when, if, if you don't take up phone and call her, she already aware of it. Right? Mm -hmm. You know? And me decide if you just move on with my life because I'm going to get married. I hear you. So, me decide if you move on and my youth born. I decide mm -hmm. to move on with my life. But me already explained to moms. So I'm just telling you guys you now, heads up. You know, anything you know, call her and tell her. She already know. She already That's know. That's a good combat, Prestige. It's a good one. Even she don't know nothing. I wish she don't know nothing. <laughs> I not tell like her that. Yet. Good one. Yeah. Good one. Well, we want to big up to Ibi. Uh, this is Ibi Philip Williams Elliston, Monty Roper, Troy Williams, Rodney Johnson. Um, who else do we have there on the live? Locked in Omar Gordon and Karen White. All right, big ups to all of you who joined in. All our friends who were on, left their comments 
on the social media pages, well, on the Facebook Live, that is. Um, thank you so very much. Of course, we've come to the end of another show. We've given him the advice that we think he could use to help himself get out of his mess he has put himself in. All right? So on behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, and my co-host, Prestige, this is your queen, Lady Cleo, signing out until next week. Oh, it's let, an offense. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let me just say to all the peeps 